Penis! Hey, hello everyone. You didn't hear Sky at all, I guarantee. Okay, you didn't hear Sky twice, I guarantee. No, that wasn't me. That wasn't you? I just kind of assumed the purpose. Of that. Oh, it's Mark. So we have. Okay, so at the beginning of the podcast, we have two people that burp. So I basically just have to guess if I'm not paying attention to see whose light, like, flashes when they talk. And I was, like, looking at the counter to be like, oh, this says, like, zero seconds. We're good. And, like, it's not starting from, like, 12 years into the future. Because that would be an issue. Um. Kind of. It'd be an issue. That'd be cool. It'd be a little talk. bit of an issue. Not a lot. It might just... be breaking the time space continuum, but not yeah. not the point. This is 92, 92, episode 92 of background noise. I'm good at math, I swear. The um, 92 is. Yeah, 92. I oh, while I say 92, I need to mark tally marks because I actually still keep track of that stuff. So. Right. Let's see who we got here. We got Sky. We got mm -hmm. Sky. Sky? Yeah, Sky. Sky. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm honestly upset that Sky couldn't make it, but we had yeah. Sky to fill in for him. It's really unfortunate. That's okay. Sky said it was but hey, it was since when we really need that guy? Uh, no, but uh, it's actually pretty sad because I hear his Sky died. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, no, so, uh, actually... Oh, 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 oh you're not doing that? No, no, <laughs> we weren't going evil laugh, man. We weren't going evil laugh. But <coughs> Sky's new name isn't really Sky anymore. It's, it's okay. Penis Overlord. It is, okay, So well. can, I, can I take an attempt to, like, pronounce <laughs> it before and then ridicule me when I'm wrong? Wait, is it that hard to pronounce? No, but I feel like I might be getting it wrong. No. It's, it's, it's Sky Knight, right? Yeah. Okay. Because I felt I felt like it's like this is Sky. Wow. It's just no, Sky. Wait, it could be anything. Wait. Sky anide and hydroxide. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah. We're like no, you're both okay. chemical. That was, was that, was ever. Not, that was not my original effort. I picked Sky Knight because Cyanide, and I'm always like a happy, like retardedly happy. Like you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely, like, definitely. Me. Doesn't Cyanide yeah. kill you? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. That's, except that's only carbon and nitrogen. Dude. So you're like, wait, how does carbon and nitrogen kill you? But it does, because that's chemistry. Okay, well, yeah. skyanide and hydroxide, they form together and make uh, autism. I'm pretty yeah. sure it's <laughs> Actually, you want to know what's funny? <laughs> Both of you are negative-charged polyatomic ions. Yeah, science. I don't like I need chemistry. To, hang on, I need, to, I need to find a lab or something so I can, so I can see it. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the two of you together would actually explode. Yeah, probably. Speaking well, of, they're, they're two wait, negative <laughs> polyatomic ions. They, they don't combine. Yeah, they're yeah, both yeah. negative. Oh yeah. Oh, so we just can. We, can we at least hug? That no. That's okay, why you in that case. I'll, in that case, I'll dilute some cyanide in, in okay. that in hydroxide then. Okay. All right. Well, speaking of chemistry, chemistry ends in like an R, uh, an R Y, right? But so yeah. does so does history. Yeah, uh, so, um, if you could visit one event in history, what would it be? Um, your birth so I could kill you. No, oh, you can't, you yeah, can't, no, 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 you cannot brutal. interact in it, like, you can't stop it. No, you can't, you can't interact no, in it? No, you can't, you can't, oh, you're, just you're just going, going, you're going oh, to the, yeah, yeah, you're going to we're the, we're gonna do those time travel rules, yeah, I love those you're time you're going rules. to that moment to watch and be a spectator, but you can't stop it, so, like, you, so a common answer, like, in this would be, like, oh, I'm gonna go back and kill Hitler, you can't, if you went, picked that, you'd go back and, like, watch Hitler, like, make a speech or something. Or watch him like sleeping. <laughs> okay. You okay. Want to do. Watch him sleep. I, I got nice. It. I, That's what we all want to do. Yeah. I, I want to be there for when the Ford GT40 destroyed Ferrari. They're like the original yeah. Ford GT40. Nice. No, not the new ones. The original. How they made it for the sole reason of beating Ferrari. I want to see that. Specifically, I want to see, uh, you know, <laughs> Ferrari's face when his prized car gets destroyed by an American car. America. Yeah. Um, okay, this is actually kind of yeah. tough, because there's, there's a few moments that I would actually like to visit, but um, do you have a some of them are actually favorite? more sinister than, you know... Do you, okay, if you have if you have a strong favorite, say that one, let everyone else go, and then say your others. In case, like, it, so, like, say you picked one that, like, oh, Sky's like, I actually was going to pick that one. <laughs> Like, okay, never well, know. this is this is one that was kind of more evil, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna okay, get this one go out of the way. Yeah. I was gonna 
I was going to go back to I was going to go, go back to like 1944, I think it was, when they no no 1945 where okay to um to the B17 that dro that dropped um I think it was Little Boy, Little Boy and Fat Man. The, yeah. The two, yeah. 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 They were dropped. They were dropped like. Oh yeah. Yep. So. Separate days. So, oh, so you wanna you wanna witness the bombing of uh, Hiroshima? No, no, not the bombing itself, just the bomb being dropped. I don't want to see the explosion, just the bomb being dropped. Okay. Huh. That's interesting, and I guess by these rules, like, even if you're on the ground, um, you wouldn't be affected by the bomb, you would just be seeing it. It's kind of like an interaction movie, I guess, or something, where you're there. Oh, so, like, so I can it's... sit in the Ford GT40 when it's destroyed I guess Ferrari. you could, right? I guess. You could. Okay. If there, oh, if there's like a passenger seat, I guess. Yeah, like I guess, like, you know, oh, you could like hold on to the roof. I mean, that I was guess. at that. I think that was at Le Mans. Yeah, I it was. Uh, I don't yeah, think that, that many Lamar. race cars came with had any passenger seats. Then, then I'll just surf on top. If it doesn't interact with me, then uh, physics shouldn't apply. Oh yeah, sort of like being a phantom in the in the time frame. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Um, Sky and Nathan, do you have any uh, historical events you wish to witness? Uh, I'm really not sure. I want to say like, like, uh, as a serious answer, I'd say JFK's assassination. Yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, <laughs> not well, like, yeah, yeah, not like as in a happy thing, but I just want to see like, because that was a huge actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. That to see okay, who so, actually did it. Okay, you know? so that plays into the topics I have actually after as well. So actually, I have a new line of topics that I'm gonna work with. But yeah, that's it. I like that answer, this guy. Thanks, man. <laughs> good, good answer. Um, Nathan, do you have a, do you have a moment in history that you wish you can go back and watch? Uh, I'm not very big on history, but I do have one moment I would wouldn't mind seeing. Yeah. And it is. The moment where Wilhelm Röntgen uh, accidentally created the first X-ray. Ac uh, I didn't even know he accident so it was accidentally created, to be perfectly honest. Yep. That's pretty funny. Yep. It's, it's pretty cool. It's like, what is this? Yep. I can see through things. I like it. Um, you know, <laughs> like, when I was thinking about this, there's a few events in like history that I'm like... Because for me, I... I immediately get drawn to like speeches, like mm -hmm. if I like being in the crowd for like a famous speech and like hearing it said as like history was happening, you know, like that's like yeah. a really cool part in my head. He, is, go, like, he goes to watch Hitler's inauguration. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. The, the speech, Sorry. the speech. I uh, actually, so there was a few I'm narrowing it down to, but I, I, the, my favorite one I would want to go is it's, uh, I had a dream speech by uh, Martin Luther King. Um, close second, I actually would have liked to go see, I think it was Abraham Lincoln's uh, inaugural speech, where he dropped the famous line of four score and seven years ago. No, that was the speech at... Oh, uh, Gettysburg, actually, right? Or something yeah. Like that? yeah. Yep, Gettysburg uh, Address. Gettysburg Address. I don't know it's why, address. like, as soon as you told me I was wrong, I knew the right answer. Yeah. It's one of those, like, memory things. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah. If you're like, you know, that's not it. I'm like, oh, yeah, this is it. Good, good call. Yeah. yeah. It's like, it's one of those things where the information's in the back of your head, and so until it really needs to come out, you just Exactly, don't then complain. you remember it, yeah. Um, Jacob, you said you had a few others you wouldn't mind visiting? Um, okay. If I, if I can, if I can get them to the front of my head. Because I, cause I don't really think about this that often, but every yeah. time I do, I'm like, oh, my God, that'd if, be If you can't cool. remember them now, we could revisit it later, if you... Um... I'd I'd actually like to see um, the Wright brothers' first flight. That is a really good that one cool. too. That would be pretty yeah. cool to see. I'll be honest. And that that's mainly just because I I am a bit of, I am a bit of an of an, of an avionics buff. So yeah, yeah definitely. Um, not, not huge in it, but you know when I when I have some info, okay. like I like I you know I like hearing about it. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make a little segue here with this, but um I would also have liked to see the moon landing. Oh yeah, that um, but too. But speaking of moon landing, okay. Do you guys believe honestly believe in any conspiracy theories? No, no. I do not. Okay. How did they record um the 
uh, Armstrong standing on the moon? How do, how do they get the camera out there? How? So, uh, I'm, I'm pretty if, sure they if have If he was the first person to lander. step on the moon... Yes, but the way that the camera was angled, how did they record him first stepping on the moon if someone else didn't already step on the moon and have the camera ready? Could the camera have been on the ship? Could the camera have been on the moon the entire time? <laughs> <laughs> was that camera always there? <laughs> Um, but this also uh, plays into my next it's semi. It's sort of the same topic, but if you had to pick a conspiracy theory, you don't have to believe it, but you think is the most believable. Like you could, like if you had to make the argument for a conspiracy theory being believable, which conspiracy theory would it be? Bush did 9/11. Oh, oh, I love having oh, serious God. talks with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Buell doesn't melt. <laughs> Is that is that what you're honestly going with, or are you just saying that's the truth? Uh, I I mean I don't know many conspiracy theories. I'm I'm not really into the conspiracies. Okay, we so. can revisit uh, JFK's death. Uh, there's huge conspiracy theories behind that. Uh, was there one mm. shooter, two shooters, mul more than two shooters? No one really knows. I want to say there were more than two. I think well, I, see, I want to say there was a spotter. So a right. Spotter. So I think there was at least. Like, so, the official report says there's, there was one shooter. Lee, uh, it was Lee Harvey Oswald that killed uh, JFK, right? Uh-huh. Okay. Yes, presumed. Yeah. Uh, that believes. In the official report. Yeah. In it's... the official report, Lee Harvey Oswald... See, this is this is a conspiracy theory. Um, and... I, I, I... Honestly, if I had to make the case, I would think it's more than one shooter. It's... It's probably more than one shooter, or it was probably more than one shooter, yeah. because at the time, the the like the weaponry that was available w wasn't able to shoot, shoot that quickly, at the yeah. uh, the rate at which they claim Lee Harvey uh, Harvey Oswald did. Yeah, the only the major argument and even I hear like to that point the, is the uh, best marksman. Yeah. That, okay, yeah, I was gonna say the argument <laughs> the, I heard uh, to that point was the sorry. fact. Sorry, I think well, that we might have a little delay with you, Nathan. So uh, I, that might be my yep. um, I was but, saying something about that earlier. Yeah, um, but the only argument I hear when it comes to that is that he was an ex like marksman in like the military or something. Yeah, yeah, it's what? it's actually really sketchy when you think, think about, about when you think about the reason people have for it. Yeah, think <clears throat> the, the best marksman uh, of like I forget when it was, but I'm pretty sure he's still alive. But like the best. Uh, who was acclaimed to be the best marksman of, like, our time, I think, modern times, Yeah. Uh, was using the same rifle and could not shoot at that type of fire rate that right, yeah. with the weapon that he was given. Mm. It was just impossible. Yeah, so that, that, like, stuff like that makes me think that, huh, I wonder... Like, I honestly wonder if... See, like, would that is that conspiracy theory true? Is there more than one shooter? I, I'm honestly... Like, I would think that's very believable. <laughs> I think there is a good chance of... That being real. And then, the, one of the most argued one is... We were touching on it just a little bit earlier. Is us making it to the moon. The moon landing is probably... Might be the most talked about conspiracy theory. Um, yeah. If, if even if it's only in jokes. Yeah, but I know like, people make okay. a lot of jokes. There's a lot of that. jokes. Like, like oh, they they fake the moon landing. Those kind of jokes. Um, yeah. But you know, <coughs> it's really hard to say whether they actually went to the moon or not. Yeah. The thing the thing is like to, in order to prove or disprove stuff like that you're gonna have to you're gonna have to do a lot of work and and it's it's a all, lot of okay because I found the, uh, secure all of like NASA is and the government. Oh like, no, I wasn't talking about that. I'm just talking like I'm just talking about like things. I'm just talking about things like like review like even even public stuff. You're gonna have to put a lot of work into analyzing stuff that that was that is even given to the public. Yeah, no, like a lot of people argue things like um, that there's no wind on the moon. Um, and the flag is blowing in the wind that they place is one uh, strong argument that I hear. What Nathan it, Nathan was kind of jokingly saying it before, but the camera recording Neil Armstrong landing on the moon, like yeah. jumping down from the moon. That one that could have just been a reenactment. 
it, it could have, they might have reenacted or something, but it's like, how did they, like, do that? Like, how does that camera that far out? Like, if someone watching this might be, like, a real, like, history buff or something and, like, actually know how, like, the camera got out there and everything. And if you do, I would love to be, like, someone to, like, actually tell us, like, it, you know? <laughs> like, if someone knows yeah, Quite about honestly, this just because of how long it's been since I've seen, like, the actual footage, I'd have to go back and look to see the, to see the, uh, to see uh, the angle. If I remember it correctly, and I honestly, there could be a chance that I'm not remembering this correctly, um... I, I'm pretty sure it's like picture it's like him he's walking out the front of the ship and there's a camera like out like on the moon filming him like taking the first step onto the moon so the camera yep. is already out like but it's stationary yeah it's stationary but so I'm wondering okay one of like two things pop in my head they so maybe they already walked out and like placed the camera there and everything or did they did they have some sort of like uh Robot, ro ah, sorry, words aren't Robotic, too good today. Like Robot, one of the probes. yeah, like one of the probes, like that they were the able ropers. to send out there and like film it, and make sure it was lined up correctly, and then they jumped out. Which I that could be true as well. Yeah, it it could also be the kind of thing where the person that you were watching wasn't Armstrong, and so you know, you what know, if the that, person you were watching was Buzz Aldrin jumping out? Yeah, like you could right? be watching Buzz Aldrin, but they but they were talking about Armstrong and we and. You know, because of the whole because of the whole radio delay, you were hearing you were hearing Armstrong. It might be. I think like they sell that oh, wait, no, they but sell that, no, but they, radio delay too. Yeah, no. no, they sell that that was Armstrong. Like, yeah, they swear on that Armstrong is the one coming out. Um, but yeah, like if it was Buzz Aldrin and uh, Armstrong was already out and he was the one like filming it, maybe he set the camera. But it's yeah. also. There, I, I hate to say this because like the moon landing was such like a important event in American history, but there's a, out of any conspiracy theory, I think that this one might be the most believable. <laughs> uh, yeah. Like I, I hate to say, it, but it's there's a real possibility that it was faked. Yeah, I don't think so. But the issue is, even if you say you don't think so, or I say I think so, or a, you're split in between. There's no way to you prove don't it. know. Yeah. Which yeah. is the. I mean, and on top of that, there's the also that those cases the where there, where there would be a lot of reasons for them to fake it. There is so many because of the space race with uh, the Soviet yeah, Union at the time. During a space race, they could like it could have been that one. And I, and the real, the one of the reasons why I don't why I don't like talking about conspiracies so much is because is because you get to a point where they just start to sound crazy. They do. You're, you're right. You're definitely right, which is why you can only talk about them for so long, and then you're like, you're like, yeah. you're like, but, you're but, like but, but you say, but if, uh, if, if, you, if he had licked his finger on camera and put his finger in the air and showed that wind was there, like, we knew the flag wouldn't be blowing, <laughs> or so, like, yeah. you just get to, like, you start, like, getting yeah, that, too that's crazy not, that's thing, and stuff. That's another thing, too, is that, is that even if I, rem if I remember... I think the explanation for the wind thing was that what people were seeing was a f was actually just a flag, you know, going to its resting spot under under normal yeah, gravity, exactly. and then confusing that with wind. Exactly. So there, so like every single thing that someone questions, someone has the answer for, but someone also doesn't believe that answer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's so well, it's, it's a really never-ending like, kind of thing. <laughs> you get you get to a point where you run into people who are so who are so like caught caught on to the answer that they that they that they want to believe. That well, they, yeah, exactly. That like so, one name. side wants to believe that oh it was normal gravity, and one side wants to believe it it's like wind and it can't happen. But yeah. the issue with that is that both sides can be right. Yeah. Like we don't know that one side isn't right or one side isn't wrong. Like we, that's like. I, I, every now and then I like visiting conspiracy theories just based on the sole purpose that there's something that's like one of the things we'll never have an answer to. Like I, I don't think about? we ever will have a legitimate well, answer. Okay, so you're questioning well, the thing though is that is that you can you can have an answer to it through science, but that's the thing though is that a lot of people a lot of people will look at the science and say there's no they probably just made that that result out of thin air just so they could explain this away. See, but like that, yeah. I don't know. It's the issue in the matter. It's like too. you can explain yeah. things scientifically, and that will be the true answer. But then there are people who refuse to believe even scientific evidence. Yeah, with like, good reason. You yeah. can you can fake science, but normally when.
but that's the thing about science, though, is that you can retest things. And through exactly, retesting, yeah. that's how you find the real truth. Yeah, and even with the retest, it, there's a <laughs> chance of flaw, but, like, it's more... That's probably the best way to get any type of answer is from, like, a retest, like, of the yeah. situation. Honestly and speaking, it's... like, if... Like, I'm not saying that I do believe the whole... I'm honestly playing, like, mostly devil's advocate for the point of this discussion. Uh, when, when arguing for, like, it being fake. Because, uh, honestly, I want to believe it's real. Because I, yeah. I think... Because... Uh, the Soviet Union beat the U.S. to get the first thing into space with Sputnik, and so I had, think the U.S. just everything. had the yeah right. I think they did it. I think they sent the people up to space, and I think I don't. But like to be honest, I think that they weren't a hundred percent sure they would live. Like they were like, oh yeah, they're, they're oh, like, yeah. they're was, like you know, there's like a seventy-five percent chance they're gonna like die. But like, yeah. <laughs> but that, that's a risk you have to take. No, like, exactly, exactly. Don't say anything like, scientific. Of course, of course. That's yeah, and on top of that, on top of that, the thing is too is that even is that with the space race, it wasn't just you know it wasn't just for space. No, that, no, no, the no, no, no. The that was, got us to yeah. space also gave us ICBMs. So being able to get to get, being able to get to the moon and back almost guarantees that we can build we can build way better ICBMs than you can. Yeah. We could probably build. We could probably build something on the moon and then launch from there and still hit your ass. They, that is true. No, squarely on the no, ass. Yeah. And it was kind of like the thing that it's like, okay, so a a reason the U.S. would have faked it was they they looked at what they had going on and they're like, there's no way we're gonna beat them. Yeah. So let's fake it, and they send it into a studio and they legitimately fake it, and th there's like good reason behind them faking it, but there's also good reason behind them just winning, <laughs> like actually beating them up there. Yeah. Like, uh, people people have way too little faith in science, in science sometimes. That is, that is Which true. is weird, yeah. because science is not based on faith. Science is based no, on evidence. No, right? Like, it's it's based on evidence, and even though you could have the most evidence in the world, you're still going to find people that don't believe you. It is quite literally a <laughs> self-checking system. It, it is, and... Um, I don't know. Can we think of like any other um, conspiracy theories? Because honestly, in my head, those are only two um, like real ones going on. The 9/11 truthers. Oh, okay, are, so, uh, they're, so they're they're really <laughs> big right now, mainly just because it's more recent. Yeah, it, so that is more recent, and like jet fuel can't melt steel beams and all of that stuff. Yeah. Um, as much as it's more of like a a joke, for the most part, from a lot of people, there are people that actually do believe it's an inside job. Yeah. Um. And yet again, this is the like I I'm so I guess there's if there's evidence to this. I honestly don't know if any of the evidence people bring forward to say it was inside job is like actually scientifically proven or anything. Um, but for for the sake of like the world, I really hope it was not an inside job, right? Like. Yeah. Cause like if. Just to picture a reality where it was an inside job would be would suck, you know, because it's like yeah. we can't like uh, people already don't trust like their own governments, so it's <laughs> like to find out bless you, uh, Thank to, you. to find out your government did an inside job and killed people of your communities basically. Um, would, yeah, it's the same. It's the same thing as like suck. it's the same thing as like as like as um things like chemtrails and all that. Yeah, there's no. I mean, for the. And most of those revolve around, like, the rich and powerful d trying to do stuff to regular people, which makes no sense, because those are your those are your customers. Those are people who are buying your shit. Exactly. So there's no real point in killing them unless, you, unless you're guaranteed to, to, con to have continued income. Yeah, like, and it wasn't a thing to boost their, like, attention on the U.S., what well, could have been something as crazy as that. I just want to throw out there, like, a little disclaimer that I, I don't believe that this conspiracy theory at all, but yeah. it is interesting to talk about, at least. Um, and, because a lot, honestly speaking, a lot of people would be too scared to, like, address the, the issues of conspiracy theories. Oh, and yeah. In it's... general, a lot of people just are like, eh. <laughs> I mean, I mean, like I said, first off, you can only go so far before you yourself start so sounding crazy. crazy, right? Because like, and second, yeah. there, like I said before, there's a lot, of, there's a lot of fucking work that goes into proving or disproving these things. Exactly. Like, for any conspiracy theory, you'll never know the correct answer until one side has the science to back every li single little thing up. It's kind of, it's kind of like religion. 
That is true. <laughs> we're doing like everything like podcasts shouldn't do. We're taught <laughs> now we're gonna bring in religion. <laughs> like <laughs> we should politics. We already said that with government. So religion, yeah. Yeah. Um. Oh. Religion's an interesting uh, topic because it's another thing where like prove one way or the other. Yeah. Like you can't really. Like, pr- so it's like, prove to me that there isn't an all-seeing being, like, controlling everything. Or prove to me there is. You can't. Like. <coughs> but you can. It's, it's you can? Those, it's one I, of those things where it ha- I, where you you have to really present. Even if you don't have all the evidence, you, you need, your evidence okay. needs to be at least... At least based on basic logic. Okay, Sky, you said you were saying. Uh, I mean, look at it this way. Take a step back, all the way before the Big Bang, all the way, all that shit happened. Yeah. Ooh, who, who or what did this? Okay, so is the question. The dark. So I'm not really stick. I don't not saying I believe one side more than the other or anything uh, when it comes to religion, uh, but the. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I know, like, Jacob, you're more of, a, more of a science buff than I am, and you might know the answer to this, but I'm pretty sure that there's a lot bigger people that disbelieve it was, like, luck. That, like, um, it was just a, a random happening of events that led to what the, the Big Bang kind of luck is Big that, Bang dude? Theory. Um, okay, It's just, yeah, like, I... the right, uh, elements or whatever mixed, and... It's, it's a kind of, it's one of those kind of things where, where, uh... Basically, the explanation lies in in this thing called em- in, in this thing called entropy, and the the universe, yeah. you know, the universe as a whole longs to be. Not, it's not that it longs to be in, in a say of entropy, in a say of entropy, you know, continual entropy from the from what it was before. But um, but it's you know it's you know you put it takes more energy to keep things in order than it does to put things out of order. True. True. So. The whole thing with the Big Bang is that is that everything was super condensed into into this into this one el- not this one element but um this one this one enti- not en- not even entity it's just yeah. an, it's just an object more or less. Okay, so it goes back to the question: Who made everything? Who made the elements? Who made the c- reaction? So what, to, what to made play, the rea- play your devil's advocate here what? is that it just was. It just was. That's how you. Uh, Argue against that, honestly. Um, it's the I, same reason for the for the law of conservation of matter. Yeah, I personally cannot see that. I can't see it just words. I mean, I I honestly see both sides of the spectrum. Uh, I yeah. can see the the side from religion where it's like, yeah, no, it would make a, like so. Honestly speaking, in my head at least, like to say that someone created everything, it's easier, right? Yeah. Like, it, 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 it is, is much so easier. much easier on your mind. And, like, honestly, like, this might come out wrong, but it puts your mind at ease, sort of, to know that, like, okay, cool. So, we're all here because someone wanted us to be here. And not because of some sort of random happenstance. It, just it does it happens. does give that purpose. It, it does give that sort of comfort of having a purpose. Right, because, like, when... <laughs> so... We're get this is the serious podcast this week, um, and <laughs> yeah. so it it can't re- I'll say I, so I don't want to I don't want to offend anyone, but it, at times religion is sort of like a thing where it's comfort to you. It, it can it can um, definitely like sort of a cop out sometimes. It's sort, but at the same it, like, time. It's sort of a cop. Okay, so I can see someone saying that it's sort of a cop out because it's like it's like kind of if you don't so like this is in the more in the past people don't really. Some people still do this, but, like, something would happen that you don't understand. What would someone answer that? They'd say religion. They would say because God said so, or... Yeah, that... it's, it's, the same, it's the same thing as, It's the same thing as why the Greeks had, like, a God for every... For, like, literally everything every that happened. Every little thing, the because lives. they couldn't rationalize why these things were happening, so they assigned God... So, so I don't... So, honestly, yet again, we don't know... So we yeah. don't even know, like, okay, let's delve, delve in or back. Let's just focus on religion for a second. We don't know what religion... Okay, so what religion's right, okay? 
because most well, of the religions preach completely that... different things, right? And that's... like, look at so monotheist, uh, poly. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, polytheistic and po then mono monotheistic. Uh, yep, yeah, words aren't working right now. Monotheistic, polytheistic. Okay, which one of those is right? You know. And th that's really where the problem comes in too. It's because because <laughs> each each religion believes well, that it is that itself is the right religion. I feel like that hits pub like um political problems because I feel like some religions tell me if I'm wrong or okay. like just talking out of my ass right now but I feel like some religions were influenced to encourage like sort of a fight full like attitude towards other countries oh yeah yeah, yeah. I, that, I, that's I, I'm agreeing with you here it's part it's um the thing is religions have been used as excuses to to initiate conflict yeah yeah exactly so because it's like okay let's so I I will apologize first of all because like in this argument I'm not gonna name every religion because I'm not smart that's, enough that's to know them. That's a long them. list. Like I, I uh, off the top list. of my head I cannot name every single religion and I I apologize if like someone's watching I don't name your religion or remember, or you just an atheist like and you don't give a fuck about this uh, point of uh, the this discussion anyway. Yeah. Um, but if, let's if break it down. Okay, so so you have Judaism, you have Christianity, Islam. Um, is wait no I'm sorry Islam's not a religion is it? Islam is but it's there's they're two Muslims subs. right? Oh yeah the 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 people are referred to as Muslims but the, but Islam itself it's is the religion is the of major, Islam. See stuff like this I'm not smart enough to like know fully. Um, yeah. And okay there's Buddhism Hinduism right? Yeah. Um those are that's just five and I'm having trouble. I think those are, I think those are the main starting ones. to branch off with things like Scientology and stuff. Like, yeah, that uh, then let's let's just, leave Scientology yeah. out of this because like I it's could like be a, wrong. Like the Scientology child. could be right. I don't know, but in my head, so th th Scientology always like in my head was more of like a joke religion that rich uh, actors bought into, because like to be so. part of Scientology, you literally have to like pay like a hundred grand or something to like a website or uh, it gets really complicated and they believe in this little spaceman spaceman that like. Came the Earth one. I, it's really confusing. Yeah, the, um, but, yeah, the like alien astronaut theory. I think they call it. So weird, Chill dude. Back. I, I don't. I, we're gonna leave Scientology. Oh, ancient, ancient astronaut. Yeah, we're gonna leave. Let's leave Scientology out of this. So to break things down real quick, in my personal opinion, uh, okay. So I need you guys to tell me when I'm wrong here. But uh, Islam, Islam is is the uh, religion that believes in Allah and the Prophet Muhammad, right? <laughs> so in my head. Tell me, mm -hmm. tell me if this sounds crazy. Christianity and uh, Islam are basically the same core beliefs. Like when it comes to having the one God and the, the Prophet. At least. So in my head, those two are comparable. Oh. At least, right? Like, could you kind of yeah. see that? Like where they both Jesus, Muhammad, God, Allah, and Allah mean just means God. <laughs> so yeah. in my head, I always thought that um, Islam could have been. Islam or Christianity could have been like a translation of one of the other ones. Like Christianity so, could have been a translation of Islam, or Islam could have been a translation of Christianity. Um, actually, yeah, Christianity. At least, at I don't. Least in I honestly have term, no idea which was, one came first. Not yeah, a single clue. Christianity was was um was one of the offshoots of Judaism. Yeah, I know it's I, uh it's so Judaism existed first, right? Yeah, but, Judaism existed first. So I'm, I from think my Islam from my knowledge, to it. take it a step back. The only difference between this, there are more differences, uh, but the main difference between uh, Judaism and Christianity is that uh, Judaism, they don't believe in Jesus. They still think that the prophet is coming. And yeah. while Christianity believes the prophet has come once, and they're waiting for him to return for like for the last day, time, and, and, and then like, save everyone and leave everyone who didn't believe in him behind. It's like it's that kind of thing. Where it's like if you're not in the club, then you you, you can just stay here. I'm trying to read like whatever's in the comments, but uh, I, I can't. Oh yeah, that's. that's, that's... <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay, yeah, I need to. Thank I you for to... that, Nathan. <laughs> Nathan <laughs> Savage. <laughs> <laughs> My oh, yeah, but but, uh, but yeah, yeah. Uh, revisit that. But a nice little bit of humor uh, broken into this. Uh... But okay, so. So honestly, I'll be honest. Then, uh, Buddhism and Hinduism, I really don't know too much about. 
Um, they were they're they're more Eastern. They're Eastern. Yeah, religion, they're more yeah. Eastern religions. They're they're pretty much in terms of. I know that Buddhism believes in terms of God, uh, that uh, Buddha was like their god, and Buddha Buddha is probably the most peaceful of any like god I've heard of. I think um, Buddha was was someone who was once man and, and then, then became and then like a god, to, right, or god. something like yeah. that. Like, yes. so is Buddha like um, a Jesus slash Muhammad? Like, I, I, I kind of right, like, but I don't the traits, know. But he, I don't think is exactly the same. So I honestly, I those Hinduism, Buddhism, uh, I can't really speak of because I don't know enough about. Uh, and yeah. like, I don't want to sound like an idiot <laughs> saying something that's not true, uh, because. I don't know! <laughs> uh oh, Nathan yeah. just dropped. One second. Okay. Um, Nathan's trying to come back, but. Okay. But okay, yeah. So, we, um, so let's let's leave it to Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Uh, like I said before, I think. I don't even remember why we started talking about religion. Uh, I'm just going to throw that out uh, there. Because, because of the whole. Um, because of that whole Big Bang versus creationism thing. Okay, okay. And actually, the, the reason why my explanation didn't go that smooth is because there, there's a lot of stuff that I need that I actually need to explain before I can even get into the whole Big Bang thing. At least with any reasonable, you know, reasonable expla explanation. Because you can, you can, you, I can give you the simplified version and then, and then the actual, like, full-on explanation as to, as to why as to why it happened not exactly why it happened when it did but yeah why why in general it, it Guys, was so much bound to happen what's up Mark? Uh, i'm just gonna interject for a second just w when you wake up and realize you became squidward wake me up when i care i hate everyone this is idiotic i knew i shouldn't have gotten out of bed today oh god <laughs> that that moment when you realize we're all squidward huh yeah That's pretty true. much and squid know what the answer to the Big Bang Theory, Sky, I got your answer. Yep. Squidward. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Does that mean we have to bow down and pray to Squidward? No, it just means that, like, we don't have to give a fuck. Because <laughs> Squidward doesn't. Squidward doesn't give a fuck. No, not a single one. He just, he just wants to go back to bed. Dude, he wants to go to bed, play his clarinet, and just have a peaceful life. But SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Why? It's Sky. It's Sky. <laughs> uh, okay, wait. So, I don't know why, but I honestly want to say that, like, in this, like, uh, call, that Jacob might be Squidward. I think so. Um, and then I can see, like, I honestly see, like, Sky or maybe myself being SpongeBob. No, we'd be SpongeBob and Patrick. Yeah, you're maybe right. Maybe I'm Patrick. I think you're yeah. Patrick. I might be SpongeBob. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, basically, what you did there is, is like, okay, which one of us is the idiot? So, uh, <laughs> so, so, so who am I? Both. This, who, who am I? Sandy. I don't want to say Mr. Krabs. You're I'm Sandy. Sandy. You're the badass. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> you're the only one that could like actually do something. <laughs> like, you're, like, you're, yeah. the, you're just, you'll be the only smart one. Um, Pretty much, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's basically the role. Other we than get. like that I'm one Texas. episode, right? The other than that one time, Patrick like fell off a cliff and put like a brain on instead of like his like whatever yeah, the heck yeah, was yeah. supposed to go up there. I really don't. It was like oh. it was such a weird concept of an episode. I love how we went from religion to SpongeBob, but this is how it has to be. In zero to one hundred, <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> we're, we're destined to be on this topic. It's like it's like the universe saw us trying to contemplate. It's like it's, it's like nah. Through SpongeBob, nah. that us knowing we get distracted. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm here sorry, for. Sorry, fam. Can't let you talk about this anymore. Yeah. I so do we even want to revisit like what we were talking about before? Are we done? With that? Um, I could. I mean, honestly, I could keep on going, but I'm not sure about everyone else. Um. I, I, it's up to you guys. You guys can decide. And I have. I want. I'm hoping Nathan was coming back. I, he said one second and then left. And he's away in Skype now. Uh. uh so, <laughs> Cause I, I have that big topic. I was. I wanted all of us to get in on. And I kind of, hoping to do that soon. Uh, it's not really even that big of a topic. It's just kind of like a, like a little thing that I. Uh, it's one of those fun topics. Yeah, I think it's fun. Um, yeah. You know what? Uh, so, Mark, I don't remember. Did we talk about um, your racing yet? 
Uh, no, no, we have not. Okay, so I'll give you the floor right now and do whatever the heck you're going to do with that. Okay, so for, for those of you in the viewers who know uh, who slash what car throttle is, it's a, uh, you know, it's pretty much just a racing car general website where uh, there's always news and about cars or racing and all that good stuff. And uh, big, really one big of... Community. Yeah, big community. Um, uh, one of the members posted that they're hosting an online se session in Gran Turismo 6, which uh, I, I happened to have. And uh, Jacob, luckily, Circuit Breaker, probably about an hour before it started, messaged me on Facebook like, Hey, hey, Mark, um, uh, ha have uh, you seen this car uh, throttle post yet? Yeah, I'm like, I saw it. I'm like, I'm like I, should probably, I should probably tell. What's up, Mark? <laughs> Considering that I'm, I'm the only one in the friend group who owns the game yeah. and is obsessed with cars, yep. So uh, besides I, me, I, I went on and well, uh, obsessed with cars. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh, so I was playing and uh, it was pretty slow at first because there was kind of a last-minute post on Car Throttle forums. Yeah. Um. Uh, so very few people showed up, but for the first like hour, it was just me and the host. <laughs> um. Uh, yeah, and I was in a Dodge Viper, and he was in a Nissan GTR, uh, 2014. Yeah, 2014. Think so. Nissan GTR Black Edition. And uh, <laughs> bless you, Sky. Bless, bless you. Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, as as stereotypical American, I was on the mountain course. I got destroyed, but he swapped it to Daytona, and uh, I swept <laughs> the floor with him, and that made me happy because I upheld my American pride. You're like America. Make left turns at high speeds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But uh, then you know, other people started joining, and I haven't played that much in the game. I just have a one or two like semi high level cars, so I was able to keep up with everyone. But um, uh, I, I had the worst car there. The the Dodge Viper was the worst car there at the time. Mm -hmm. But uh, it was a lot of fun. I, I had a great time because. Even though only half of them spoke English, like, just racing brings people together. It does. So, yeah, it does. It was just, it was great. I, I had so much fun just racing around and testing my skills and all that. And, apparent, and apparently the guy actually announced the the race a couple days prior, but then, but then I caught, I caught the, um, I caught the reminder notice that he posted late, that he posted like the, like the night before, and like, by the time I saw it, it was already like 11 at night, I'm like, I'm like, I should... I'm not sure if I should share this now, or if you'll even see it, or if, or actually, I thought you had already seen it, but I posted it anyway. But, uh, yeah, it was just a lot of fun, and I have no idea how many people showed up after I left, because I was only there for, like, two, two and a half hours, and for the first hour, it was just me and the host. <laughs> That's pretty good. But, um, uh, but when I left, there was, like, seven people in the lobby, and we were just all having a great time. It was just great. Sometimes we just cruise, and we had, and we all got in our nicest looking cars, and we had just cruised together. And the, you know, the host took pictures, and he's like, you know, I'll post this on Car Throttle when I get the chance. So uh, yeah. either the replays or the pictures are going to end up on Car on Car Throttle, and Ooh. I just had so much fun. That's just yeah. when, when, I got to when race, time, I got to just cruise, have fun. I got to see some awesome cars. One time I'm going. One time I'm going to go onto the post and just be like, and just like you see, you see that guy, Lyrical Phoenix. He, yeah, he's my buddy. <laughs> he's my <laughs> friend. Uh, I'm extended, extended famous. Yep. Yeah, Lyrical Phoenix. It's like it's like an article. Lyrical Phoenix gets destroyed in everything except NASCAR. <laughs> Typical American. <laughs> Mark's like. Mark. Mark's like. We yeah, ended yeah. up with a was... we ended with a remake of the um of the whole um Brazil versus Germany thing. Oh, it's just all of like Pornhub and everything. <laughs> yep, yep. Um, uh, destroyed no, by uh... by Kevin. Oh God, no! By no, Jeff but I'm, uh, I had oh, so much fun. It was great. Uh, I was so glad that I was able to partake in that. Just uh, and one day when I get a nice car of my own in real life, um, uh, I, I will. Partake in real, real life meets, like the real life meets. Yeah, the the real life meets instead of the video game meets. Yep. But that was still a lot of fun. Yeah. We should we should probably try and catch one of the um, one of the GTA Five meets sometime. Yeah. Well, I'm friends with uh, the guy on um uh, on 
uh, PSN right now. Oh. Huh. He he added me to his friends list, so so I feel great about that. You're like, awesome. hey, Ed. So I'll probably get a notification whenever there's another online meet, and that'll be great. Just that's pretty cool. Now, I, I love just the racing community, even if it's even if at the moment it's only video game racing. Yeah. Hey, dude, racing is racing, okay? You know, I, I'm trying to see if... I don't think he responded. No, not yet. I'm trying to see if Nathan comes back for this. Um, okay. Okay. Ooh, that Ooh, was, was <laughs> Oh. Okay, so... Oh. Um, oh. One note oh, I thought, I, thought the, I thought the call ended for a minute. I'm like, uh, yeah, oh, it shows oh, that right. ended for me. Oh, uh, no, so the, it, what happened was... Uh, I opened Skype on my phone and accidentally answered the call. So you yeah. might have heard my voice twice. Uh, no, no, but, but, but uh, on on all of our Skypes, I think, it says that the call ended, but it's still going on. Yeah, I can't Oh, oh yeah, it does. Yeah, the, the <laughs> yeah, call is completely ended <laughs> in our, on our... Oh, uh, okay, okay, uh, technical timeout. Uh, I'm going to end the call and restart it. Okay. Hey, uh, I restart, restarted the call, guys. That was fast, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah that didn't take any time at all. No, 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 no. I, yeah. I did that pretty, pretty uh, fast, I would say. Right. Well. <laughs> Wonder who I actually am to talking to right now? That's like texting. Ooh. Hot dog. Yeah. Hot dog. Oh, he was texting me too. He yeah. was texting me. I miss you. I yeah, I know. Me too. A while actually. Uh, I, Wait, I he mean, only misses one of us, shut right? Shut up. <laughs> 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 Let's not talk about this. Um, if we I up. love you. Okay, so I think Nathan's having an issue with maybe his computer or something. Um, so, Sky, how much time do you have left? Uh, 10 minutes ish. Oh, okay. Yes. So I, I'll just start this topic and Nathan can come in when he's ready. So, All right. so to you guys, you might be like, "Well, this topic sucks, Hydro. Why are you gonna, why are you talking about this?" But um, don't give me ideas, Hydro. Okay. So, basically, all currency in the world is made into a new currency called Earth money. Whose faces okay. are on what, uh, per, like dollars and stuff? So I came okay. up with. Okay, so the the I, okay I once we need. Okay, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, I'm up. Let me tell you the rules first. Okay, okay, so basically we need one person for everything, uh, and the ones we need someone for is the one cent, twenty-five cent, one because I'm just gonna make it to like dollars because it's the easiest thing for us to do. Yeah, e um, easily rounded yeah. off money. Yeah, one like a, okay, we're, like a one dollar like bill, five dollar bill, ten dollar bill, twenty dollar bill, fifty dollar bill, and hundred dollar bill. So okay. basically, if you have like someone that comes to mind for something, uh, say it like. Okay, so in my head, I think we should put someone who is like really, really, really crappy on the one cent. Putin. Putin? Uh, like, Vladimir Putin? I was yeah. gonna say Stalin. Stalin, Putin, one of the two. Hitler. Hitler. <laughs> no, no, he doesn't deserve that. I don't, I don't that. think Hitler makes our currency. Uh, I, I don't know if I want our new Earth money to have Hitler on it. <laughs> oh, we can put him on our toilet seats. That that would be fine. That would be fine. The, yeah. the worst, the worst, the worst human bot, the worst human being possible go goes on to the one penny. It's like, it's like there's so many good people that like. Um, <laughs> all right. So the one cent. Uh, who who are we uh, debating between? Um, you say Stalin. You and Stalin. Stalin. Sky, do you have anyone? Because I don't. No, know. no, 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 no. Mao Zedong. Mao Zedong. <laughs> yeah, I. Mao Zedong. You know, I was hoping for like people, like good people, man. <laughs> but but you, I mean, you already pitched the idea that, that a terrible okay, person a good, goes on no, to no, a penny. No, 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 by terrible person, I don't. I mean, like oh, dumb you mean relative celebrity to the other guys. or something. Like oh, okay, Matt Damon. Matt Damon's Kanye not a dumb <laughs> celebrity. Kanye West goes on to one cent. Can we all agree that Kanye West gets the penny? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sky, you in on this? He Fine, fair enough. Yeah. From that moment forward, Kanye West only uses only uses pennies to buy stuff. <laughs> Just be based on the um. Just because he has his face on it. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, do we want to do we want to start from like smaller amounts and keep going like that? Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Right. That that makes that makes it way easier than there's just calling like out like, like oh, this guy yeah. for this for okay, this amount. Okay. So the next, uh, I'm saying a quarter. Like, so 
a 25 cent. Who goes on a 25 cent? So this is person, someone that probably was like, in my head, this is someone who's who's pretty good, but like doesn't deserve a full bill. Yep. Mm. Like deserves uh, like uh, picture what you think like deserves for a dollar bill, but like one quarter of that person. Okay. Um, <laughs> one quarter of that person. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna add. One, one I, I will add. I'm gonna that, add a fifty person. cent piece to this list because I think um that would be. Um, it actually, currency. I think that would actually make a lot of yeah, sense. Like, uh, we used to have a 50 cent yeah. thing, but then we got rid of it. Yeah. So, 25 cents. Uh, so <laughs> okay, we gave Kanye West a penny, so it's got to be someone that's better than Kanye, better West. Than Kanye West. So, we can't go worse than Kanye West. So, like, if you said Kim yeah. Kardashian, you're like, no, you're going the wrong way, even though that's his wife. <laughs> um, second second worst part. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, it's got to be someone who's better than Kanye West, but can't be, like, Saint, right? Like, can't be like yeah. the like it someone who be. did something really important. Um, I'm. So the thing is, I'm thinking of people who have done like really good advancements in terms of technology right now. So Louis okay. C.K. Uh, Louis C.K. <laughs> of twenty five cents. Okay. All right. What do you? Nah, what do you, okay with that. you. What are you going to say, Mark? Uh, the next person deserves at least fifty cents. Okay. You know, Louis C.K. All right. So I'll debate you right now. Um. George Carlin goes on a twenty-five cent. No. Um, Louis C.K. I, I don't. I don't deal well with um with comedians. George Carlin is possibly the greatest comedian uh, comedian of all time. Like yeah, your opinion I, is wrong, Hydro. I, li I oh, like comedians. I just don't watch okay. a lot of comedians. I don't, you, so. A lot of people probably be angry that you said that, Sky. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Louis C. Do K. I K. Care so Louis C.K.'s original work was very good. But his more recent stuff was terrible. Like it wasn't him. He he tried like I extending out to a few bits of comedy that he hasn't done before, and it wasn't funny. I don't like you. Well, he has to experiment, right? Not really. <laughs> well, oh, okay. Then. <laughs> I mean, like it, it's like saying that, like um, I mean, obviously, if he was to throw like one or two jokes in there, awesome. But like for half the show to be that, and it's like, eh, you really disappoint us, man. Yep. Yeah. And I don't know if I want um a balding ginger to be on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude! <laughs> it's true what they say. Ginger, like male gingers, are like the are like the least desirable people <laughs> on the planet. <laughs> I'm colorblind too. For That's anything, the worst part. actually. Um, <laughs> yeah, you are going. Yeah. <laughs> let's what? go with uh, let's go with Michael Sarah. No. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh. huh. No. More. Adam Sandler. <laughs> That's worse than Kanye West. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, um, you know, Louis C.K. is not that bad. Um, but like, what is Louis C.K. actually like? What is Kanye West dub for anyone actually? <laughs> wait, wait, I got it, guys. I got it. All right. Jaden Smith. Oh dear God. No, because like, it, <laughs> so a twenty-five cent piece would be filled with a bunch of like weird Twitter posts that like no one understands. Precisely. That that's exactly how you it know works. Uh, Jaden's okay. So Jaden Smith versus Louis C.K. Let's take. How many light bulbs does it take to change the world? Um, none if they want to change. He he was trying so hard to be a philosopher. Just it just didn't work. Okay, out so for him. let's take let's take a group vote. Uh, who's for Jaden Smith? Me. Um, I have to, you know, just just for the pure comedy portion of that. Instead of like instead of saying "In God We Trust," it'll be, it'll be one of his quotes. I, I just, okay. I just like the idea of that. It'll be <laughs> okay. Uh, it'll just be just, every just, time you look at it, you just laugh. There, um, it's a two-two because I vote Louis C.K. Even though I was crapping on him earlier. But as the yeah. host, I feel like I get like um. Uh, one point one. one votes, so I'm gonna switch Plus my five. vote to Jaden Smith. <laughs> no, I honestly, uh, I don't want Jaden Smith on my money because uh, the entire coin would be like meaningless Twitter post. So, Louis C.K. gets it. I'll go. I, I, so, I basically am picking fat ginger over fat balding ginger over uh, teenager <laughs> who's trying to be a philosopher. That's a, I can deal. <laughs> If you guys have a problem with the way I think, screw you, it's my show. Um, 
50 cent it's piece. Just that you try, it's just that you try um, so hard and okay. not going anywhere. Okay, can I throw this out here? Yeah, yeah go for it. Um, I mean, this just personally means a lot to me because, uh, okay, so, uh, I'm throwing out Ben Stiller because uh, Stiller. of The Secret Life of Walter Mitty because he both directed and acted in that movie. Oh, so, and so, that, okay. that movie just is it's one of my favorite movies. So, so I'm I'm saying, so my only argument here is that there are seven coin slash bills left. We should be focusing on people that did something in history. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, but right, we'll, we'll get, we'll get, the, we'll no, get no. that when we get to the paper money. Yeah, but like... Yeah. Ben Stiller on, is our 50 cent. I don't know how I feel okay, about no, that, man. I'll change that then. I'll change that. Robin Williams. Yeah. Yeah, I can, I can, I can deal. This is Robin so, Williams so, so, did so I say much. I say it's too soon for Robin Williams to put him on any type of money or anything because there's going to be... Oh, when did we have to say that the person had to be dead? To no, you him don't, on? no, no, you don't, like, they don't, they can be alive or dead. It doesn't matter. But I mean, we put Kanye only West on. issue, Kanye West is alive. Exactly, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. He's, he's alive, so there's no reason to there's no reason to put someone. Okay, Jacob. Or there's no reason not <laughs> let, to put let me say what I was going to say. <laughs> um, the only thing is that I mean, Robin Williams' be, death yeah. is a negative uh, connotation with him it being a suicide and everything. And I think oh, it yeah. would be a um, little too. Well, I mean, then you, well, then you can say something similar for like Alan Turing. For like Alan Turin. I don't know who that is, and I'm not putting them on. Um, he was he was a guy who to um who decoded, who wrote the program that that decoded the the um Enigma code that the Germans used in World War Two. Okay. Good, he was good, he was literally part of the reason. Good he was for him. And part of the reason we won the war. But I don't want him on my money. Yeah. Um. Oh wait, no, Alan Turner was lynched. I think. Good for him. <laughs> that does right. not change the fact well, that I don't want him on my money. Um. So who the hell were we? Gay. Robin Williams. Um, I said Robin Williams and Ben Stiller. Well, uh, do we have any other candidates? Because uh, the thing is, I don't feel it's high enough to start putting on people that really like made but a like, difference. So, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine pieces of currency. And we could have put any like really important people on all nine. But we picked Kanye West and Louis C.K. for two of them. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like yeah, we need to, has, yeah, I feel like we need to start there. redeeming ourselves with a fifty cent piece. So just, everyone knows. No, like we need, pick, we need to, no, 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 we need to pick money. some fifty fifty cent piece that's half serious, like a half serious pick. Okay, wait, wait, no. Uh, so we're thinking of like things for like for the world, then, right? It's, because it's this yeah, all around the world. Right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, Doesn't uh, have to be not, so to for America. someone who really only changed things in America, even though they changed a lot. I was gonna say Martin Luther King. Actually, yeah. Yeah, because uh, okay. he changed a lot in America. Outside of America, really, because this, this isn't American currency. This is Earth money. This is what every single person. Exactly. Uses. No, but that's why he's only on the fifty cents. We put Kanye West and Lucy. Yeah. Dude, most people. I, I feel like there's a lot of people who don't know who those people are. <laughs> and technically, uh, Kanye West. Yes. He has a pretty big following, but like uh, people in like Not a good okay, one, so, but... so people yeah. Jacob, people in third world currency, uh, third world currencies, third world countries are also using Earth money. Well, yeah, so but that's the thing though. People in third world countries also don't know who a lot, of, who a lot of really big historical people are. Fair, fair point. So that, fair, and okay, that's mainly so, down to education. Right, we're in we're those focusing areas. on the. We're not. We're not getting into that debate. We're focusing on the fifty cent piece right now. Yeah. So our our uh, candidates are. Ben Stiller, Robin Williams, or MLK? Okay. Who do you vote? I'll go you, MLK. Who are you putting your votes on? This is if this is Earth currency, like it's Earth. It's Earth currency. Okay, so MLK. Because I mean, good humanitarian acts are good humanitarian acts, regardless. So I, well, Mark, I'll go for I'll go for MLK. Mark, do you have a vote? I agree. <laughs> Mark. <laughs> Mark, you still there? Huh? What's your vote? Huh? What? For, for what? Fucking for the, for the 50 cents. <laughs> <laughs> Who are the options? Oh my God. MLK, Louis C.K. No, and you Lewis? don't even know no, him. Louis Shut the hell up. Okay, Ben Stiller, <laughs> Robin Williams, and MLK. These are all mine. <laughs> you have to cast a vote. I suggested all of them. That doesn't matter. Cast reach. a vote. That's one reach. We're done. Period. What? What? 
This cat put... Because I put out all three, I'm voting for all three. You, That's you it. Can't, period. Can't, Done. Can't do that. Pick pick one. But which one would you prefer? Whatever the fuck. I don't. Which one you shit. prefer? Okay. I'm okay. <laughs> I. The I'm one who I think this. deserves it. The oh, wait, no, no. Too late. I already. Too late. I already put MLK. Okay, high put high okay, shut up. At us for being great, for being <laughs> so, racist. One dollar one bill. The one who I think deserves it It's the too most. late! We're going to the one dollar bill now! We're done with the fifty cent piece! MLK got it! We're done! Is Martin Luther King, I said we're however, done. the one who I personally <laughs> enjoy the most is Ben Stiller. Okay, we're, we're, MLK got the fifty cent piece, okay? So, one dollar bill. Alright, for seriousness, I want to <laughs> say Malala. I have no idea who that is. What? <laughs> okay, the girl who got shot for speaking out against the Taliban and the education of women and shit. Oh, yeah. I, I, yeah. I don't even know how to spell that, so I don't think I can put that in my currency. <laughs> 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 I mean, it sounds like one of those things where, just, where it's just spelled the same way it sounds phonetic. Uh, okay, we can throw, we can throw, um, what, what was that name again? Malala. Malala. On Malala. <laughs> we can throw that. It, sound, it sounds phonetic. Malala. It sounds like it would be a phonetic spelling. Malala. So I'm picturing like M A L A L A. Malala. Oh, Nathan. Yep. Funny of you to join us now. Malala. Yeah, Nathan. Yeah, okay. So funny basically, you what us. we're doing right now is uh, so you missed the first three pieces. Okay, so basically, the topic on hand right now is all currency in the world is made into earth money. Whose faces are on what pieces? So we're deciding the one cent, 25 cent, 50 cent. One dollar, five dollar, ten dollar, twenty dollar, fifty dollar, and one hundred dollar. And I pick in dollars and cents because it's just easy to, like, say and do that with. And Shoot. we've come up with three people Shoot. so Shoot. far, and you might be disappointed in us. On the one cent skin, <laughs> uh, one cent skin. On the one cent might piece, we put yeah. On the one cent piece, we put Kanye West. Um, on twenty-five cent, uh, we put Louis C.K. for some reason, and then fifty cent, we put M.L.K. Even I'm. Well, except for MLKM, even I'm disappointed. Yeah, I'm disappointed it, it, it too. I'm really disappointed. <laughs> uh, so right now we're arguing who should go on the dollar. Why? Why do we need to put faces on the money? Because uh, because it's a good topic. Because because it's, <laughs> because it's a good topic it's one for of those, those respectful <laughs> things. <laughs> why can't we just drop the current form of currency in every? Uh, country. That's not the, 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 what, and just yeah, that's not what we're talking Star about. We're talking about Earth, new Earth money with people's faces on it. It has to happen <laughs> like that. <laughs> let's 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 go Star Wars credits. I like Star Wars credits. That will work. Okay, well. so are you saying Darth Vader? Star the, Wars uh, credits? The, the are, you, are you being serial right now? We're going. Okay, no. Doesn't Actually, matter. I'm, doesn't I'm matter. It's Earth right money. Now. We're going Earth money, and whose face should be in the dollar bill? Wow. Someone said Malala. Yeah, that's that was, actually uh, that yeah, that's a good Scott. idea. See, okay, maybe I'm the. That's dumb. a good idea. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Um, but um, so the, the main reason I bring up not you doing that is because one Kanye West, n enough said. <laughs> Two. Look, yeah. we had to pick someone for the pen. We and... we picked that though. That's not like that's not like that's not like a predetermined thing. That's that's something that we picked. And if you were here, you could have talked this out of it, but you could have, yeah. <laughs> but you didn't. So. Say. Well, you weren't here to do it, so... <laughs> so uh, two, I... I haven't seen a whole lot of Louis C.K. But so Louis C.K. only I've won seen, because there wasn't a better him. option for 25... Actually, Nathan, do you have uh, anyone for 25 cent? Like, I'll read Louis C.K. Because I really don't want Louis I... C.K. to win. I don't want Jaden Smith. <laughs> it was no, it was either Jaden Smith or Louis C.K. That's who these guys so we came up Louis with. C.K. <laughs> That's who they came uh, up with. Do you have anyone about, better? Um, Hugh, Hugh Jackman. I like Hugh Jackman better. He's well, the yeah, I'd rather go for someone with his. Oh, wait, wait, body. okay, no, for the 25 cent piece, um, uh, they're not a real person, <coughs> but Deadpool. Deadpool, what a Can we put Deadpool I, on a 25 cent piece? I, and, like, make it into, like, I a hologram, don't. and every time I it's like, we Deadpool! Were real people. Uh, okay, we are, but I, 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 Deadpool breaks all, like, forms of media and everything, so Deadpool could be here. I, I just... Alright, so Louis I, CK stays in 25 cent I don't piece. even know what to... I, <laughs> 50 cent piece is MLK, oh, and well, who goes me. on a dollar? So the only person so far we've brought up is Malala. 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 Okay. It's a good choice. That's good. Do you have anyone else? Good. I win. 
A lot of wins. Okay, well, I feel like we need at least one other person to debate. I mean, I'm sa I'm saving some of my, I'm saying some of my um. Pre <coughs> So like there's a few people and I'm not sure on. like if they should be saved for higher dollar amounts. Um, uh, who the I can't hell? remember. Was Alan? I can't remember if Alan Turner was American or I not. I don't know, but I'm also gonna he, say he that British. he's not going on my money. I want him to be British. Um, I don't know. Like, I don't. I, can't I don't know many, many real people with historical value. I know a lot of like. Video game characters yeah. that I can look around and be like, oh, this would be uh, cool, but wait, they're not real. Conky. Who? Can I? No, no, nobody knows Conky. Conky. Conky's so Conky. Never, never mind. Never mind. You mean Conky from like uh, Tokyo Gold? No, Conky's uh, Bad Fur Day. You know the. Like, oh, con oh, Conker. Oh, oh Conker. Was it Conker? Yeah, it was Conker. It's Conker. Yeah. Con Kinky. Kinky. Oh shit. <laughs> Kinky. Okay. Kinky. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, Scott, you make a lot of sense here. Um. Like, conky, conky. I don't have anyone okay, else. How about this, on. Alan Turing? I don't know. Okay, so I know who that is now. But I, okay, so does anyone else have anyone else other than Malala or Alan Turing? <laughs> <laughs> no, because seriously, Alan Turing was like the was like one of the main reasons why we won against the Nazis. That's a that's so a, a that's a, a uh, argument for another day. Uh, about no, oh, no, 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 I, I was no, I was I was making a joke about that like Nazis should have won. Uh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> uh, so Malala versus I should get the guy's name already. I'm sure he was really he was really important, but his name escapes me every time Jacob says it. Who? Okay, so let's vote. Uh, sure. let's, okay, so let's vote Malala or guy Jacob said. Who votes for Who <laughs> votes for a guy Jacob said? The guy the guy who made the Turing test. Who votes for that guy? Jacob doesn't even vote for that guy. Okay. I vote, well, I mean, I, it's implied that I vote for him. I no, mean, no, it's not. <laughs> Just because you brought someone up doesn't mean you have to vote for them. Okay, okay. In that case, I vote for Alan Turing. Then. Okay. That, uh, do you, everyone else vote for Malala? Yeah, Malala. Malala. Sky, do you vote for Malala? Don't you vote because the name sounds funny. Yes. Guys, <laughs> you? I, I, I'm, no, 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 I, I, I know Malala. what it's about. I don't know how to spell Malala. Can someone give me a legitimate spelling for Malala? M-A-L-A-L-A. -A -L -A -L -A. <laughs> Like I said, really? it's, one of, it's one of those names that sounds that sounds the same way it's spelled. <laughs> who exactly. who would name their kid phonetic, that? It's a phonetic name. <laughs> Yo, man, got yourself right. <laughs> Cat's um, typing in the chat, Malala. where she was. I feel like she's she's about to leave the chat. Yo, I'm obviously not going to make the podcast. Okay. I I would assume so. It's already kind of started. Okay. I'm kind of interested in what she's gonna say. It's kind of almost over. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is like this is like our last topic. <laughs> yeah. We've gone, we've gone like halfway through everything so far. <laughs> okay, we can we can do that. Sure. We'll finish with that. Wait, we'll finish with cat? Yeah. Or do we can do that? Next. Do you want to do? Okay. Would you guys rather do? Uh, once she sends it to me, uh, what she did. Let's actually let's get halfway through, and then we'll go to cat dinner thing. Is that cool with you? Okay. Yeah. Well, I twisted. I'm, wow. not, I'm wow. obviously not gonna. I'm not gonna play Sky. You're gonna say hot dogs. I'm dog. gonna guess hot dogs regardless, <laughs> even like if it was right or wrong. Um. Okay. So now we move to the five dollar bill. Um. There is. Um, there will be only four people above this person, basically, with our, um, argument here. Uh, Aziz and Sir. Um, okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even. I'm, I'm gonna say Mary Curie. Mary, why? She did a lot. She changed a lot about you know science. She 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 literally discovered radiation. So yep. did a lot of other people, dude. I don't think a lot of other people. Discover, were, wait, know, discovering, discovering radiation? radiation? Well, not radiation. <laughs> but, uh, not radiation. But uh, big science feats is that what you're gonna do? Oh yeah, yeah, a lot of people commit. A lot of people have done a lot of things for science. And but... and she broke a lot of social standards with how women were considered not as intelligent as men. Wait, was Malala a female? Malala is a feminist as well, though. Okay, so thing. okay, like, no, 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 okay. She is a female. Yeah, okay. She is a, a young woman. Okay, so Malala uh, actually. Um, okay, so we already have a woman. We don't need. Woman. Okay. Uh, that's that's. Who, wait, wait. What social standard says that there can only be one woman? Uh, okay, stop. Well, being not such one a woman per se. Like, what do you mean social standard? <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh no! Literally, has to be I literally just heard them say. No 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 no! no. You're you're okay, you're hearing me wrong then, because I'm saying we have one because I feel like we need at least one, or more. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. So, yes. Yeah, so take the, take the, take the potatoes Harry over. I. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. It's a suggestion. It's where everyone would for it. Well, I said, it, I said it's Aziz said Sorry was a shitty option from Sky. Like, That's what I said. It? Aziz and Sorry is a beautiful He's man. He's a beautiful right? man, Sky, <laughs> but he could have been for the 25 cent. Yeah, I would have liked him better than Louis C.K. Okay, I would like him. <laughs> Alright, well, what I'm saying for the. for um, Yeah, you got. This, this is the point of like, debating it. She's. She's like they're both feminists. Why have two women for the same uh same fight basically? That makes sense. Wait, son. Because they made a lot of different contributions. Wait, how do we know? Wait, how do we know? Mary, Mary, yeah, Mary, Mary, Mary was a feminist. feminist. I'm not saying huh? that she bro she broke a lot of social standards because she was a woman. She didn't actively try to fight it. Yeah, but okay. She's so the like, way the way I, we're looking I, at it, she's a she's fighting for her women's power. And so is Malala. That's the way we're she, looking at she it. Never no, she, no, she wasn't actively fighting for it. She okay, just, now, she just did fighting. it by, you know, she did it by doing guy, what she was doing. I get, I get what you're trying to say. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so I have a pick for this uh, five dollar bill that I think, um, I, I personally would like to see this person five dollar bill, uh, Sir Isaac Newton. Um, actually, yes. Yes, I would. Being, being essentially the founder of physics. More or less. I, I kind of like I, calculus because like uh, so he's it's really he's a really big person in history but I also don't think I would think put him on the ten to twenty to fifty or hundred. Yeah, um, yeah, I don't he's, think he's one of, he's one of those baseline kind of people. Actually, no, I honestly I'm uh, I would be a game for throwing Sir Isaac Newton to number ten, but I honestly want to throw um so I have a few science names to throw. I, we're gonna have a few people to name for this one. But, um, right. so, a, f a few names to, uh, throw out there, uh, so I know he's not that historic, but, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson, I want to throw yeah. in five, and Stephen Hawking's I want to throw in for the $5 bill. Yep. Uh, so, that, that leaves us with the option, uh, or, or should, so, should we do this as, like, the science bill, the science one, and, like, have, we're we just gonna argue that, cause we could throw in that Sir Isaac Newton, so, fighting for five, too. Yeah. Okay, so There's... we have four people uh, picked for this one. We have... I'm sorry, Mark. I don't know how to pronounce her name. Can you say that again? Mary Curie. Mary Curie. Okay. Uh, so we have her. We have Neil deGrasse Tyson. Stephen Hawking. And Sir Isaac Newton. Right. Um, I'll go right, uh, left to right on my screen. Jacob, who do you before? Okay, um... I don't have to. I don't have to go for Curie. Okay, uh, Mark, do you have which one do you go for? I still believe Curie. Okay, Sky. Alright, fine, Curie. Uh, you don't have to agree with them because they're voting for it. I think. No, 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 because no, among that list, Curie's. I I personally I think. think that's like number Curie's four one that on my stands list. Out for but, me. Okay, Nathan. Good choice. Oh, um. Do you want me to listen to the uh, options uh, again? Please. Okay, so Madden Curry, Stephen Hawking, Sir Isaac Newton, or Neil deGrasse Tyson. Mm. So I know two of those four. Okay. Which ones do you know? The ones that everyone knows. That, I'm gonna say Stephen Hawking <laughs> and Sir Isaac Newton. Yep. Okay. You don't know Mary Curie? Or Neil deGrasse Titan? Neil deGrasse nope. Titan? Uh, well, Tyson. Neil deGrasse Titan. Tyson. No. Tyson, I can understand. But Mary Curie was the woman who discovered radiation. And literally placed her life on the line for science. You know, I'm going to throw it out here, and I'm voting jokes. for Sir Isaac Newton. I think Sir Isaac Newton should be in the five dollar bill. Oh, we're already uh, the from what yeah, this, I this knew originally, I, I was going to say Sir Isaac too. Okay. Um, I have vote. I I'm I have host so. powers here, so I'm going to say that's wow. three wow. three. Wow. And then, yeah, um, but then it's three to three. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's a three to three then. Three to three, so. and um, because I <laughs> and for all good questions, we go to Cat. Uh, it's, it's not. No, we're not asking Cat. Cat's <laughs> on the podcast. She does not get to be part of this. 
<laughs> Stop it, Nathan. <laughs> um, I I like Sir Isaac Newton for the five though, because if Sir, Sir Isaac Newton isn't here, then he won't be anywhere. And I think that he's someone we need to have on our currency. Right. Okay, well, I guess see. Let's see what Cat says. Let's throw them in there. Madden Curie. I don't. Is that how you saw it? I don't think it's Madam it's Curie. It's okay, I think if... Oh, Mad Madam was like the... I've heard it as Madam Curie only, like, that's the only one I've yeah, heard. Mad yeah, that's because Madam was like Mrs. At the, at the time, yeah. you know. Uh, like, well, Miss, yeah. Mrs. It, it was, um, what do you call him? The, uh, not, not surname, no, the, um, yeah, whatever. We need an adult cat thing. Okay, so I guess cat cat really is. How, her, how do you um, how do you spell her name before I offend anyone else? No, you're fine. M A R I A. That's close enough. Cherry. The cat's gonna. Be, I mean, I, was how much do I feel like cat's gonna go with like a cop out answer? Be like, oh, I don't, I don't know. Good, good answer, cat. She has an answer. Wait. What? What's uh, how do you? Votes from oh, oh, votes from. Okay, so Cherry okay, wins. Cherry then. Uh, I'm oh, okay. not counting votes from her family. I asked Kat. <laughs> okay. Newton. Newton wins. Oh, she says Newton. Oh okay. my god. <laughs> god I, uh, I'll be, no, actually, if we want to count her family, it's still tied. Yeah, it's still tied. <laughs> it's true. Um, okay, no, what, no, what I'll do, each host uh, gets a bonus point, okay? Each host gets another bonus point. Wow. So Mark, wow. okay, so no, no, no. Mark gets a bonus point, Cat gets a bonus point, equaling it out. Wait. But then it means I get another bonus point, and Sir Isaac Newton wins! I don't like this game okay. anymore! Okay, I draw. Okay, I'm changing my vote to Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> Sir Isaac Newton still wins! <laughs> Politics at their best, people. Uh, <laughs> this is how politics, how politics work. work. <laughs> we basically just went through. We, just, we basically just went through like the electoral vote <laughs> route. Basically, because population vote doesn't matter. It's, just, it's all about electoral. <laughs> I want to. Yeah, I want to say this guy. Right. Well. So. So what's next? Out of fear. You should put Sky in the next one because I'm leaving and I'm gonna be. No, I'm not gonna be dead, but. Alright, bye. I'm gonna be dead. <laughs> okay, so, uh, so See, now, now, now so we lost dead. a sky factor on this. So, um, <laughs> I feel like these answers are all gonna be like science based now. Like, mostly. Uh, no, I was actually gonna say for the next one, uh, Gandhi. Ah, uh, see, Ga actually, uh, no, yeah. Gandhi yeah, is Gandhi. like was like my, one of my candidates for like fifty or hundred to be perfectly mm -hmm. honest. I think it was way too soon to put Gandhi at ten. I mean. Actually, yeah. I, I think can, it's I way, can, way too soon for yeah. Gandhi to be 10. Uh, honestly, a, no, a guy like number 10, so I want, for 10, I'm feeling like a political leader, maybe? Um, uh, how about Queen Elizabeth? Interesting. Um, she but had... she's more of like a figurehead than... Wait, then the first or second? Oh, yeah. Do you mean the one that's currently uh, right now? The current. Oh, yeah, because she, she, she really doesn't do anything. She's kind of just a figurehead. Actually, she, she's done a lot in her That's life. That's not what I'm getting at. I'm saying from a uh, political standpoint, she doesn't have any real power. So I'm talking about someone who has like had power as a political figure. So in uh, England, you'd ha have to say the, who the prime minister is. So like a Winston Churchill, I think, would be up for debate. Actually, on this yeah. Subject and not a Queen Elizabeth. Uh, Queen Elizabeth could be up for like other things, like 20. I'd honestly talk about being putting her at like 20. To be perfectly honest, um, but ten, I'm like trying to get. I want it. I don't know. If to, for me, I feel like a political figure should sit here. Um, I guess we could say Queen Elizabeth then. No, what? Yeah. Well, so we'll fulfill Queen Elizabeth into the voting because it's it's a fair voting process. So. Um. Fair, a fair voting process where you have three votes. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Uh, wait, say that one more time, Jacob. I said, uh, I, I jokingly said a, vo a fair voting process where you, ha where you have three uh, votes. Well, I mean, <laughs> I'm the host, so screw you. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is my country, and I say what goes, so. I, uh, you guys are lucky I'm giving you votes. I should just, I could just decide. But no. But then it wouldn't, but then there wouldn't be really much, there wouldn't really be much reason for a discussion about it then, would there? No, I would be like, hey, you guys can name things, and I'll tell you who wins. 
could have done that, but uh, no. So number for defend all bill, we so far we have Queen Elizabeth. Um, I kind of want to throw a guy like FDR here. Roosevelt, yeah. Uh, actually, I'm gonna throw two Roosevelts out. Uh, FDR and Teddy. I want to throw it. Uh, I was thinking more Teddy. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna say Teddy over uh, FDR. I loved FDR, yep. honestly. Um, but I think Teddy Roosevelt probably was more important to the history. Um, okay, I'm gonna say Ted. Okay, so I'm trying to represent yeah. different countries here. Okay, I'm so I'm let's let's to say. I'm is it fair to say? Uh, actually, uh. or should we for the ten dollar bill? Uh. Because this is politics. Should George Washington be, like, instead of uh, George Washington or Abraham Lincoln, be here instead of Teddy Roosevelt? I'm actually gonna say no. No, I think I like Teddy Roosevelt on the side yeah. for this. Um, so Teddy Roosevelt, Queen Elizabeth, we have. Is there? Um, I'm trying to remember who came before Stalin. I for some reason it's just Lenin. Lenin. Yeah, Lenin. Yes. Lenin's yes, not Lenin. a bad because Lenin actually did Lenin a lot was, of good. Lenin was a good heart. Was a good hearted um, communist. Yeah. I've been a communist. He was a socialist. He, technically, he started communism. Technically, yes. Yeah, uh, but he. But the thing, he started with good. No, I, no he, I'm not saying he. Com, I'm not even saying communism is bad here. <laughs> oh no, it is. Um, communism's bad. Yeah, but technically. He was a yeah, it's just a very uh, strict form of socialism. Yeah, um, it's a it's a poisoned version of it. Of kind socialism. of, kind of. It's a this is a discussion for another day. Uh, that's yeah. not really what we're debating here. So, all right, we'll throw Lenin. In. So, Lenin, Queen Elizabeth, and Teddy Roosevelt. Um, uh, does Nathan? Do you have anyone you want to throw into here? I don't know anybody. Okay, so, um, <laughs> you guys have votes for this? Those are our three candidates. Uh, FDR. I thought we, no, I thought that, we changed um, yeah, it to Teddy. Teddy, 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 Teddy. Okay. What am yeah. I saying, Teddy? Okay. Uh, Jacob? I'll go Teddy as well. Okay. Uh, Nathan, well, I mean, uh, Nathan <laughs> uh, it's basically over, uh, but, so, uh, Queen Elizabeth, Teddy Elizabeth, or... Uh, I'm gonna go with Teddy. Okay, I was voting Teddy as well, so Teddy... Oh, so unanimous. It was unanimous. Because, uh, so... In my head, when I like started this, I felt like a guy like Teddy Roosevelt deserves to be here somewhere. Yeah. Like, I don't. Like yeah, honestly, I, I can't. I can't too. say that I would put him on like the fifty or hundred, because I don't know how. In the history, so what? Man, this is what twenty. This is now the twenty. We have the twenty okay, fifteen uh, hundred left. So. You know, this is where I'm starting. I'm having a problem coming up with people. This important. That's why yeah. I said we should have put. We should have waited until we started important people. Uh no, yeah. but like the issue is that there's go, there's definitely three people. It the pro the, the problem with stuff like we this also to, like, is think. that is that of, of of important people there's just so many it, even in even in like the lesser known parts of history. Yeah. Like the Navajo code break. Actu code break actually, for the twenty dollar bill, code talkers, um, the code I'm gonna code throw up so a name that was thrown out there earlier. Uh, Nikola Tesla. Oh yes. Oh, that was my. Yeah, that was yeah, my yeah. I'll go with Tesla. Uh, I, yeah, I think I'll agree with that. Well, I'm trying to see if there's anyone else we can debate against him. <laughs> Edison. Um. Yeah. How about? Nine? I was about to say, regards to any Edison fans. <laughs> yeah. So I, I think it's fair if we uh, throw Edison and Tesla up for a debate for the twenty dollar bill. Um, yeah. Anyone else we can throw? Maybe someone had. Uh, what about? I actually. I know he's not going to win, but I kind of want to throw Alexander Graham Bell uh, in here for the twenty dollar bill. Ooh! If you don't know who Alexander uh, Graham Bell is, he basically created the phone, and he did a lot of other things like that. He uh, basically so created he, like he created he created these infernal devices, which um, which are currently destroying our lives. No. no um. No, he created like landline phones. He didn't have nothing to do with cell phones. Not the point. So, uh, no. Base technology. Someone ruined his idea. Without, hi without him, we never would. <laughs> no. So, uh, that's like saying that, um... Ah, never mind, but... Okay, uh, so I think those are the three people to decide from. Uh, I think I know who's gonna win already, but it's okay. So, Edison, Nikola Tesla, and Alexander Graham Bell. Who do you guys vote for? This time I'm gonna start with Nathan. Ooh. This is, I think all... Th so, honestly, all three of these people were really important, may I say? Like, I... Actually, can I throw out one more yeah, suggestion? Yeah, of course. Einstein. Oh, yes. Or mm -hmm. Einstein's good, but should we save Einstein for like the 50 discussion? <coughs> no, 
No, I don't. I don't think he's up there say, that much. I would say he's a contender with Gandhi. Yeah, like I think he's up yeah. there in like that in my top opinion. like people. To be perfectly honest. Um, Mother Teresa. Yeah, no, uh, I was so thinking I, Mother Teresa. So I Mother heard Teresa that okay. actually, like, these are more like reports that Mother Teresa was actually like kind of insane. Where um she <laughs> she would refuse. So this. It's basically based on whether you say this is insane or not. Uh, people on their deathbed, she would refuse pain medication be so they'd be closer to God. Um, Stuff like that, uh, kind of. So, like, we can throw her in here. We're gonna throw Mo that's we're what, gonna that's throw we can throw uh, more... Mother Teresa into this twenty dollar bill discussion. Uh, so, who do we have now? We have a lot of names. Um, do we want Einstein to be in this one? Edison, Tesla. Hang on, do you? I... Do you... By that, did you mean like refuse pain medication like against their will? Yeah. Kind of thing. Okay. Th yeah. That that I have a problem with. But if it was just the kind of thing where it's like, oh, I don't, you know, I I, I don't want it. If like if the person themselves no, no, was no, just no. like, she, oh, I don't when, want. No, no, no. When you say she would refuse to give people pain medication, that means that obviously means that someone. Oh, oh, that was her. Do. That was her doing yes, that. Yes, that's what I just said. <laughs> Why would uh, I say this? <laughs> I thought that I thought that was just her saying that people shouldn't be no, allowed it or no, something like no. that. She literally refused people on their deathbeds to to have pain medication. Wow. Um. So okay, I, she's, so yeah, she, I'm so not yeah. I'm just saying that one for her, but she can be in the discussion. So we have Mother Teresa, Nikola Tesla, Thomas Edison, Alexander Graham Bell, and are we, are we throwing Einstein to this group? I'll um, say no. Yeah, it's a big let's save group. Einstein. Yeah, it's we a, have four it's people. A pretty uh, big Nathan, you yeah. can vote first. Ooh. So I'm torn between Alexander and uh, and Tesla. Yeah, th here. yeah. Those are honestly the two. I'm stuck between. <coughs> and I know I actually mm. am gonna vote for. I know which one I'm voting for. Um, I'll, I'll throw. I'll I'm gonna throw, have to go Alexander. Okay, yeah, I'm going Alexander Graham Bell as well. Honestly. Um, Tesla. I'll go. With, I'll go with Tesla. Okay, so. I draw you guys and host get so like I don't I, I know it's not really fair go to cast. but like <coughs> I, I honestly would like to see Nikola Tesla on something but I I also plaque. I also feel like Alexander Graham Bell is really important too um. That, that's the issue here, is that, is that it eventually becomes a... Yes, a Nathan, a Nathan, exactly, do this again, please. But while Nathan is doing this, let's quickly segue to a less serious thing of what did Cat have for dinner? Um, let me... Okay. The audience now knows, Is it just Bell, or is there an I think e it's at a the end of Bell? Bell, B-E-L-L. -L. Okay. Um, Sh she'll get it anyways. Yeah. She'll understand. <coughs> I actually like that she asked like her entire family that. And then yeah, with, their votes. with with the uh, equal. Uh, it was so equal and split too. Number. It was like her and her dad yeah. agreed, and I think like uh, uh, who was it? Her mom and her, her, mom her sister, sister were agreed. Were agreed. The only yeah. thing is, I think her sister is kind of young, so I don't know if she actually would know much. But I don't even remember who voted for who. But um. Um, and mom and sister for. Curry, and I think yeah, it was. Doesn't really matter. Right. And then it was her and her dad for Newton. Yeah. Um. So cat hasn't responded. Okay, so let's play with a cat for dinner. I know the correct answer, and I'm still guessing <laughs> hot dogs. So. What an American Andrew, I'm gonna though. kill you. Look, I. I'm sorry. I. <laughs> <coughs> No, 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 there is no sorry anymore, Hydra, I'm just gonna kill you. No, I mean, like, you can kill me, I'm, I said, I'm, I have to guess hot dogs, it's just kind of me. Okay. Me being me. Just you being you. Yeah, so do you guys have guesses for what it can have for dinner? Anyway. Okay, um, we're gonna go ahead and say pizza. Uh, I'm going with stir fry. Stir fry. Okay. That's uh, good stuff. Uh, Nathan, do you have a guess? Um, I'm going to go with uh hamburgers. Okay, so the correct answer is uh, roasted pork and vegetables. Well then. 
Hmm. Um, which it, it, healthy so dinner, cat good for that. Cat, cat wins again. Um, cat wins the cat wins for dinner like every week when we don't get it right. That, that's basically how it yeah. works. You know, I, I'm not arguing. You know, she is the one who had dinner. God damn it, Nathan. <laughs> What's she doing? <laughs> they renamed the conversation to Hot Dogs, a tale of an American hero <laughs> who the answer is still <laughs> guess Hot Dog. She doesn't give us. She told us Wookie Goldberg and me too. About, no! I'm not putting Whoopi Goldberg over my la la la. Okay, she said Tesla. Okay, so Alexander Graham Bill wins because Cat has no say. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Really? <laughs> no, I, I'm joking. Nicholas Tesla. Might seem to spell him a bit there. Nicholas Tesla. I don't. I, I honestly um, would prefer to uh, Alexander Graham Bell, but Nikola Tesla is on the. You and me both, yeah. Hydro. Yeah, you know, Nathan. Not everyone can be as right as we are all the time, so it's okay. Um, the fifty dollar bill. <laughs> oh wait, I told you guys the answer to cat had dinner, right? Yeah, I did. Um, yep. So, so we now we have two yeah. things left: the fifty dollar bill and hundred dollar bill, and. I feel like we could honestly decide these together if we really wanted to. Um, Enzo Ferrari. Uh, <laughs> can I drop you from the skull? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But uh, I just have one quote. Enzo Ferrari, the man who founded Ferrari, said he wanted two things. He wanted the car to look nice, and he wanted it to be so that when the buyer's put the pedal to the floor, they chit their pants. <laughs> Those are the two things he wanted from Ferrari. Yeah. And he did just that. The FXXK. Honestly, though, like, if we were debating, like, um, uh, like, people for car, I would say Ford. <coughs> like, with the assembly line. Uh, I would, yeah, I would but, say uh, he's just, like, if like we were, I think he probably. It, it wasn't would. a serious um, suggestion. So fifty uh... hundred. So basically, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, and I don't know. <laughs> this is, might sound terrible, but I don't know if I. So for the fifty dollar bill, I think our options should be Einstein or Gandhi, and we need to come up with someone like really other amazing for the hundred dollar bill. Hmm. Um. How about just the planet Earth on it? On a one hundred dollar bill, we'll, we'll because if we chose anyone, we'll think if we chose, we chose anyone specifically, then people would think that there'd be favoritism towards a particular country if this were to be a real thing for a certain country or ideal. Because a lot, okay. a lot well, of the people that we need okay, let's, also let's have vote a lot on the political ideas. Now. Um, okay. Oh God damn it! There's a chance I actually just kicked Cat from the That call. makes me so happy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I typed, uh, kick Cat, and, uh, I, I might have actually kicked Cat. I don't, have, how, do I t how do I know if she's still here? Like, uh, it uh, would say Cat has been removed from the conversation. Oh, would it? Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay, because, like, I typed... <laughs> just wanted, I just wanted to make sure, so if I mess it up, I could try again. Of all the people, well, she picked me. Like, I'm probably the worst looking out of all of us. You're, you're hey, a handsome hey, person. Really you're a handsome guy, Nathan. Shut up. Have some self-confidence. I'm pretty sure all of us hate how we look. It Right, guys. Fact. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of hate how I look still. <coughs> gotten better. No, I th I think I'm an ugly motherfucker. I forget. What, I was gonna say something to Cat, but I don't remember what it was. Gonna be. Oh wait. Uh, this is it. There you go. There you go. Uh, Classic comedy. Bad joke, cat. I'm kicking your butt. <laughs> Academies. Um, okay, so the fifty dollar bill. Um, I'm going with Gandhi. Gandhi versus Einstein here. 
Mm. <clears throat> or, or is there anyone else we want to throw in? Oh my god, Nathan. Are we doing this again? Please don't tell me. No. I'd like to like just... this monkey. Nathan, just no. No. No, I'm not going there. No. Mm. I'm looking for a good counter to you. Oh, oh I got one. Counter to Gandhi. Oh, uh, wait. Oh. That's how I feel about this <laughs> <laughs> situation. <laughs> and that's how I feel. <laughs> Oh man, I should have, I should have said this earlier. I don't, I don't feel like this we person this fits in, of or our, we can even contend with these other the people. Earth to bring you an emoji fight. <laughs> That's more important. We're no choosing our final representative for the planet Earth. And, and okay, what, so what for the fifty dollar bill, we have Gandhi and Einstein. Um, there has to be someone else. Alright, there's gotta be there's gotta be someone else that's like important enough to like maybe put into this category of like. There's someone I have, but I don't think he would. I don't think he can contend can throw, with can throw Gandhi the name and, out, and at least. And... Yeah. Yeah, I, I really feel like I should have said him earlier, but I didn't. I have, right. my mind is what, what's, what's somewhere name? else. It's uh, Tim Burton. I honestly would have been okay with putting Tim Burton like on the twenty-five cent piece, like and that was before you yeah. were here. Because okay, um, not, not many people know him, but I feel like this is a very, very, um, important guy. Hitler, I swear. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, I'm being serious. Um, uh, Jonas Edward Salk. I honestly have no idea who that is. Uh, he is the one who cured polio and then refused to place a patent on it so that it would remain an affordable health care. He could have oh, been yeah. a billionaire. Yeah. But he remained getting middle class income because he decided not to patent it so that it would remain affordable cure for polio. He's, that, he's uh, actually an amazing human being. I'll say that much. Yeah. Unlike that one guy who bought the rights to the, to the uh, I think it was like the AIDS medication, and then just started, and it just skyrocketed the yeah, price. Yeah, that happened okay. recently, right? Actually. Yep. That was a recent. That was a recent it, event. It was, it was originally like five dollars, and then a company bought it and made it like twelve dollars, and people were pissed off about that. And he bought it and made over seven hundred dollars. Yeah. yeah, I think I don't even think it's I don't even think it was actually like a full on cure. I think it was. No, it's I just think like it was, a like. Yeah, it was a treatment. A treatment, and he kind of yeah. fucked over anyone who was. He cancer. took it. He took it. I was like, he's like, you know, I'm just, you know, I just. And it's just like business is business. It's like no, 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 no. Like these are human lives you're messing with here. Yeah. Okay, so I'll, I'll throw him in there. Um. Oh, thank God, you can say it with a lot of things. Yeah. Um. Oh, then again, you, you have to sort of consider like how how much are people willing to spend for a human okay. life? Yeah. Um. You know the value of it and all that. Okay. Um. So those are, Mark. I'm I'm gonna apologize to you. I don't remember the guy's name. You said Shulk. Was it? Uh, Jonas Edward Salk. Salk. S A L K. Okay, that that name. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Einstein and Gandhi uh, for the fifty dollar bill. Okay, see that that's actually a very worthy contender right he there. He is. Um, I'll tell you. I don't think he's gonna uh, win, but I do think he at least deserves to be nominated. He deserves a nomination, which honestly, like, so to technically be nominated for in these spots, technically that's a really big deal too. Like, yeah. just to have your name thrown in there. Um, that means you're among, like, the top 20 people ever. Even though we put Kanye West and Lou C.K. on two of these. <laughs> that was such a bad idea, dude. Like, uh, I think we can change our mind about those. Dude, uh, Kanye can, West can we go back, actually, and, like, remove these? No, uh, let's finish it up and then go back and change I, it. I'd rather okay. change them before, like, naming, like, the most important people ever. Okay, um, uh... Um, but, like, who the hell would we put on? Because MLK was 50, so it'd have to be someone in, uh... Lesser um, than MLK. Just because he's he hasn't been in office for long, I'm gonna say the current Pope. Because Pope Francis is amazing, Francis, huh? but he hasn't exactly been around for that long. You know, that's not a bad idea. Tim Burton. 
And no, not because like I'm religious or anything, but because he has already done so much. Okay, let's revote for of, a like, twenty-five cent thing. Okay, Louis C.K., Tim Burton, and Pope Francis. I'm going with Pope Francis. I honestly am going to vote Pope Francis. Mm, yeah, actually, Francis. Frankie. And uh, I'm sh I I'm pretty sure Nathan's vote is uh, Tim Burton, but sadly... Uh... Oh, man, it's Louis C.K. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> 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 uh, so Pope Francis Alright and in the penny <coughs> Are we going to leave Kanye West in the penny? He totally yeah, He no. totally does not deserve to be in the penny <laughs> Okay no let, let's change him to Jane Smith Oh <laughs> <laughs> he, he deserves even less yeah, I, I honestly put Kanye West over Jane Smith Because Kanye West at least has like made music That is actually meant, sure. meant Let's go with uh let, Let's go with uh Archimedes Socrates? Pythagoras. What is the name in philosophy to that? Um, hey, hey, they're, they're worth something yeah, at least. I'm surprised. For, uh, they're, they're worth more than Kanye West. Hey, Kanye West is a philosopher in his own, right? <laughs> what not to do. Yeah. Uh, okay, so... Uh, the, the paparazzi are so mean. Good morning, Kanye. Shut the fuck up. Okay, so for the one cent... Uh, Kanye West, Socrates, or who do you say, Mark? Aristotle? Um, I said Archimedes. Archimedes sure, him. I said Plato. Alright, okay, Plato too, Ooh. sure. I'm going Parker. with Plato, actually. So I'll vote for Plato. Oh, Plato sounds too much like Play Doh, like the stuff you played as a kid. You know so, what, just man? to troll you guys, I'm still voting Kanye West. <laughs> 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 Alright, so actually, Twitter, swear, jokes, on, jokes on you. Yeah, if Nathan votes Kanye, Kanye stays on the <laughs> one cent skid, by the way. <laughs> um, one cent. I, um, I'm going Archimedes. Okay, so one vote Archimedes, technically two votes Kanye West, two votes Plato. Okay, so now we narrow it down. Okay, well, Jacob, Jacob, Jacob. Yeah. Let's swap over to Archimedes. Go, Archimedes. Archimedes. Okay, so I now have made a new roll. I get three votes. God damn. <laughs> yeah, no. <what>? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Tony. Don't talk this again, Nathan. No, yeah, I actually want to see. Okay, <laughs> who who is Archimedes or no? Kanye West is in there. It's Archimedes or Kanye West? Oh, God. Archimedes or Kanye West? Or Kanye West. Or <laughs> twisted. I'll twisted. That that's the best. <laughs> Kanye West. <laughs> <laughs> why are we? Why are we continuing to give him? <laughs> I'm just you guys. It's so hard here. <laughs> I swear, guys, she says Kanye. <laughs> if she says Kanye West, I swear. Oh, wait, we could have gone Hippocrates. No, <laughs> should stay with how we are. Yeah, Archimedes. Uh, Literally. I'm trying to think. <laughs> Please. Yeah. There was another person I'm thinking of. He was he was Greek as well. Aesop, that's who it was. Aesop Rocky? Oh yeah. No, no, not the... <laughs> Usopp, Captain Usopp? Oh god. Oh my god, I have a better person for the penny. Like I, I, I actually think this person could have been higher. But I, I, I want JFK to be on the penny. Actually, yeah. Can we put JFK on the penny instead of these guys? No. Building blocks. All right, <laughs> uh, I vote JFK. I'm and, then he, and then he gives himself four votes. No, I have two votes. Cause with was, Archimedes. Um, so. I'm still, I'm sticking with Archimedes. Hold on, now I have to edit it again. No, no, it, Nathan, just say Archimedes. See, now you guys are just going against me. No, I no, I honestly like think guys oh, cause, no, cause, cause Archimedes was okay, Archimedes was our, was our original well, vote anyway. Well, no, Plato was, and then you guys switch over to you guys thought Plato was more important, and then switch over to. I still want Kanye Archimedes. West, goddammit. Yeah. Because yes. I was trolling, and now I'm saying JFK and I'm serious about it. Yeah, but the thing, but the thing is, though, philosophers make for make, are the building blocks of modern society, or at least they, or at least those philosophers were. 
So it would make sense to have philosophers at the ba at the base of our currency, and then ha and then build up from there. What's those cat? Oh God, no! She said Kanye. Uh, oh my goodness! Why? 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 <laughs> hey guys, do you want it? Do you guys want to jump uh, aboard the uh, JFK trade uh, wagon? Because if not, Kanye gets a penny. <laughs> she 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 already said Kanye. She can't train Sarkomedes. Unfortunately, that's not how this game works. <laughs> no, I don't really give a shit. Um, I don't, I like JFK on the penny though. I'm I'm still sticking with Archimedes. I just feel like he built a lot in our yep. current world. That is true. Plus, I feel like we need at least one. I think like JFK could go higher. Than any. He could, but um, honestly, I think we should have put Pope Francis on the penny. And this this, this person should have been. Do we want to switch funny. Pope Francis? I think, I, I think Pope Francis, because he's still not fully done anything yet, um, to the penny, and put whoever we decide here as a twenty-five cent. Yeah, I can go for yeah, that. I'm gonna do that. I think we're overriding Sky as well, but I don't really care because it's Sky. Well, he still voted for um, Louis C.K. and um, Kanye West, but uh... no, no, I'm talking, I'm talking about like um, I think, I think the person that we chose for the 25 cent was someone that Sky. No, I'm added. saying he still voted for them. Yeah, but we're oh, saying yeah. we're all voted for not Louis C.K. Okay. Um. So, I'll put Archimedes. I, I, I honestly want to JFK, but. Yeah. But you guys can't be right at a time, it's okay. Yeah. Alright, so back to the 50 double. We had the guy Mark said, I already feel Sulk, I think. Yeah. I, I feel yeah. like I'm botching the poor guy. Jonas name. Edwards Sulk. Uh, S A L K. And. Uh. <coughs> Einstein. And I'm gonna say Mark votes first. Oh, hi, Cat. Hi. Hey, the the podcast yeah. isn't even over yet, so. Oh wow. Yeah, we're we're oh, actually no. um we're <laughs> Don't a, a while. while we're actually on the fifty dollar bill. Um, yep. oh. And everyone lost cat the cat and when we played when uh, what cat had for dinner, I still voted hot dogs even though I knew the right answer just to uh -huh. just to let you know everyone lost yeah. so you win again. That's why I had to change um, the topic. Yeah. So. Yep. I, isn't it my objective to get you guys to win though? Well, but if you, we all lose, you win, right? Okay. That, right. You're, you're like Bowser. I mean, I didn't really think yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was... Yeah, you're Bowser. Your objective is to yeah, stump yeah, everyone. I Kat, I get, I Kat, I get to give you a tally mark for being on this show. Oh. She's Katzer. Oh, she's getting renamed to Katzer. Oh, that's adorable. Okay, so, Kat. Kat, unless you have someone else for the $50 bill, um, we, so far, the people... <laughs> mark, can you explain your guy again? Because I don't know if Kat... Okay, uh... Uh, I put in Jonas Edward Salk, who was the one who cured polio and then refused to patent it so that w it would remain affordable health care. Oh, okay, good, so and he could he could have made billions, the but he decided not to. The other two guys are Einstein and Gandhi. Is that what it's against yeah, right yeah. now? Oh my goodness! Um, but so, so it's Kat, one of those you, I'm gonna take, quick give you like a rundown of like who like we decided for what. Okay. Uh, we and. All right. We we changed a few little things up. Uh, Pope Francis is on the penny. Uh, Archimedes right. <laughs> is on the twenty-five cent. Fifty cent is MLK. One dollar is Malala. Uh, five dollar is Sir Isaac Newton. Ten dollars Teddy Roosevelt. Twenty dollars Nikola Tesla. Tesla. Okay. Tesla. Uh, yeah, Tesla. Um, and now we're, now we're at fifty. 50. I, I'm kind of I'm, right. I kind of want it to be a person on the hundred and not like. Uh, we'll talk about that when we get to the hundred. Um, we talked. Yeah, we talked about. We talked about having it just be the just be the world on a hundred dollar bill because of uh, because. I, I, mi I might uh, have. I might have just said we'll talk about it when we get to the hundred. So no need to talk about it right now. Um, yeah. So the fifty dollar bill. This is what we're deciding. And actually, I'm gonna say out of Sulk, Einstein, and Gandhi, I'm gonna give Cat the first vote since Cat hasn't gotten the vote first. Oh my goodness. No, this is too stressful. I don't know. 
They're all great people. They're all great people, but who goes on the $50 bill? You have to see their face every time. I don't know what Sulk's face looks like, so on that standard alone, I can't vote for him. Because I, what if he was really ugly? Um, <laughs> <laughs> um I don't know. He's I, a pretty average looking guy. Uh, he's not ugly, but he's not I'm like... Yo, but Gandhi is a sexy motherfucker. You know? <laughs> Gandhi is a sexy <laughs> For a Mark guy, uh, I mean, obviously he was a good person, and I... I do believe in what he stood for. What oh, yeah, like, he's he great and everything. Um, like, yeah, but, yeah, but I don't think that he's like... I don't think I want to put him on the $50 bill. I don't think that he's as worthy as the other money. people right, right. of a $50 yeah, yeah, bill. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, he'd be really great for... I don't even right, know like, what like, other... Mark, if you had said like, this guy he, earlier, he just, I would have easily tried putting him somewhere. But, mm -hmm. um... Like, I mean, he does deserve to be on something, but, like, the decision is, like, We'll what? make up... We'll make, like, um... Like, a. Ten cent, like honorable mention. <laughs> yeah, honorable, like basically, but just being nominated to be on word currency is like an honor. I mean, so. uh -huh. we could, we could, we could make something for the hundred dollar bill, or like have it be like a bunch of people's names. We're like not talking about the hundred dollar bill yet. I know, no, I'm just, I'm just we're trying on to throw it out there. I know, I'm just trying to throw that out throw there. Throw it out there when we're at the hundred dollar bill. Okay, whatever. Your test, your words will be stricken from the record. Okay, so. That'd be funny if I went back and edited it out, but I'm not going to do that. Um, $50 bill. Okay. Editing. Kat, vote for so Einstein or... Uh, or Sulk, but I think you think you're... I'm going to go... Honestly, I mean, I, uh, I haven't learned in, like, school what Gandhi did exactly. Like, what okay. things... I think that's this year in uh, global history. Yes, that's when you learn it. Um, you will be. I'm in global, too. So we didn't learn it last you year, should be but we might it, learn yeah. it this year. Um, so I I don't really know like what he did. I know that he was a good person and he had like a lot of nice quotes that girls um, put on Instagram. But um... one, of his, one of his big things was the whole peaceful protest thing. No. I I, I don't, I'm not sure on this on the specifics. I mean, yes, I, I, I know I, that I, I got that word right for once, but I, I'm not too sure on those, so I can't give a definitive answer. Yeah. Uh, the thing is like. With this, it's like a human rights kind of thing versus like um... and, and good views versus like a scientist who moved. Uh, Are arguably technology. the most important scientist in history of science. Yeah, like it's like apples and oranges because they it both is did very something, hard great, to. but it was in completely different areas. But you have to pick one. That's the thing, though. Without scientists, a lot, a lot of the things that that you know, a lot of the things that gave some of the, that gave some of the people, or at least that gave some of the humanities people their opportunities, would not have happened. Okay, so does anyone have yeah. a vote then? Because it doesn't. I'm gonna say. Einstein? You want Einstein? Okay. Uh, Mark. I, I'm yeah. going with uh, Gandhi. Okay, Nathan? Nathan? Oh, uh, man. It's a hard one, right? I feel like... I feel like if Sulk had, you know, patented it, no one would have, you know, said anything about it. They would have been like, oh my gosh, he, he cured polio. Right, you know, uh, honestly? Like, then saying I mean, that he didn't patent it. That's that's the thing that really makes him that much no, he, better. He's a great because movie, no. it's it's a really it's a real step up that is. <laughs> it's that's like that shows humility and that's yeah. I he's, mean he's that's not... really what pushed me to say salt. It also shows that he didn't do it with the intention of getting rich okay. off of off of people Jacob, suffering as Jacob, well. Jacob, who's your guess? This. Um, vote. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I have to go with Sulk as well. Yes. Okay, so I this is gonna come to a shocker uh, that this uh, Sulk's my vote. Honestly, I'm gonna vote Sulk. Um, so I think so, Sulk, so Sulk is on the fifty dollar bill. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Could you say his entire? I, I voted a guy the fifty dollar bill. That I don't Mark know his entire know. name. What's his? Jonas Edward Sulk. Okay. That's J O N A S Edward and S A L K. And it is so close to the word to the word sulk, like yeah. you know, like sulking around. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So uh, we voted Jonas Edward Sulk for mm -hmm. the fifty dollar bill, but so honestly, we could honestly vote between uh, Gandhi and Einstein for the hundred dollar bill. Because <laughs> I feel like oh I feel God. like a world without Gandhi it, and Einstein, and at least one of them, I like our world currency would have been like a huge travesty. But there's a f we had a few ideas for the hundred dollar bill. One of them, uh, before we said putting picture of the Earth on. The hundred dollar bill. Jacob mentioned something that actually no, he uh, technically didn't because I struck it from the record. Uh, he mentioned something about putting a bunch of names of other people on it. 
it, um, it will be sort of like the all mentions part where where um essentially you have the names of a bunch of people who had, who had a lot of influence on the on the world events okay, that's interesting. and that would be that would really be more for um satisfying the the need to recognize those people um I, and my favorite one that I just came up with is uh putting the Hydrox and Ant logo on the hundred dollar bill I vote for Hydrox and Ant I vote for Hydrox and Ant did you say you vote for Hydrox and Ant I vote for Hydrox and Ant okay uh Nathan did, you vote, are you during the Hydrox and Ant bandwagon can we, can we get a a GIF printed onto the dollar where it's the hydroxide ant logo oh, jumping off a cliff? We, <laughs> I don't know how it's going to work, but yes. yes. No, yes. that can be on the back of the hundred dollar bill. Yeah. My no, yeah, my yeah. logo on the front and then on the back <laughs> is it, it going off a cliff? Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. I I think uh, so. Jacob, you're the only one. Uh, Jacob and Nathan haven't voted yet. But, um, I... Oh, no, I said, I said, I said the Okay, I, I'm voting Hydroxin in. Nathan, do you vote Hydroxin in? I'm voting the gif of the Hydroxin That goes on the back, so... Alright, Hydroxin in is on the $100 bill. Good job, guys. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Your God, we just... Okay, now, really we just completely wrote really off every really important really person in history Whoa. for Hydroxin Well, I think <laughs> I'm pretty important. So, uh, I'm just kidding. Not important at all. So, do we do we want to name the currency something differently, or are we just Earth money? We can, we can call it so Hydro Cash. <laughs> well, I mean, we could. I mean, yeah, based I on the way that I seems to work, we could I say. Could it or I'm going to sleep. Oh, we're gonna wrap up in a second, Mark. We could call it like the like the Earth Federation currency <laughs> or Earth Federation credits or some shit like that. Yeah. Well, that, the name doesn't matter. Because <laughs> honestly, because I mean, essentially having a unified currency like that would it would. Would essentially imply a unified Earth as well. well so uh, we're yeah, we're saying we're calling it Earth money because that's what that question imposed. Uh, so we're not yeah. doing it. Uh, so basically, to give a quick rundown, guys, there's a message here. I don't know background money. <laughs> I actually like that one. Background. Yeah. Money. Uh, background money. I'm kind of okay. That makes it seem like. Yeah. Actually, no. I'm gonna name the episode background uh, money. Maybe I don't know what I'll name it. Um, background credits. Background credits. Uh, okay, so to give a quick wrap up of what our currency looks like uh pope francis would be on the penny 25 well penny or one cent equivalent uh 25 cent equivalent would be archimedes the 50 cent m okay one dollar is i just love saying this person's name of god they won malala uh five malala, malala. uh five dollar is sir isaac newton ten dollars teddy roosevelt twenty dollars nikola tesla like tesla god damn it hydra what are you doing Number 50 is uh, Jonas Edward Sulk, and the $100 bill, the upside of the century, is Hydrox and Ants. Most influential uh, person in history, everyone. It's, it's, got, it's Hydrox and Ant, the most influential it person in be. history. There's, history. No, there's no way it could be anybody nope. else, right, guys? <laughs> Kip, no, 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 that's it. He sees everyone the same yeah, way. Yeah, I, I, I see everyone in black and white, and I love you all. So, I think that alone. Um, I love everyone in Luster Jacob, so it's it's great. That works. I can I can deal with that. <laughs> no, I, I, I really I like my Shut up, that. Jacob. I love you. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, wait, so I, I know we're supposed to wrap up the podcast, but I don't remember if we talked about this. But me and Jacob have known each other way too long, and we've been friends for a really yeah. long time. We live on the same street and everything. The one podcast I actually yep. ran to his house, literally yep. ran to his house. Was really tired by the time I got there. I'd be like, oh yeah, podcast is going on my okay, house, cause... and I ran back. Yep, that's how that went. Yeah. Uh, but this, uh, so I, that's our word currency, and I think that's next, where we're next thing. I have to run to Mark's house. So I okay, Jacob. If if you can make it here in the time of a I'd podcast, you can oh stay. no no no, I'm talking about I'm talking about I'm talking about hydro. Oh, actually, oh. Uh, that, uh, huh. I wouldn't be on for the entire podcast. Unless you decided to take your car, in which case it would be like 15 minutes. Yeah, but like, I, I was assuming yeah. I was taking my car, and it would be 15 minutes, so I'm gone for like a half hour yeah. out of like normal. Like yeah, actually, actually, yeah, he has a point there, because running, running from, yeah, the distance from your, from Mark's house to, to just our street it would take me like an hour, so yeah, it took running me like all the way. Minutes so, we have a traveling podcast where we're all, we're all just traveling. We're all we just, all just like go take, the yeah, we all just go to like each other's house. To our street, and and like, all right, so. We're going the distance. All right, so this says, so. We have our word currency now, and uh, this has been episode 92 of Background Noise. That's a lot of episodes, guys. Like, uh, so, for, so, yeah, we've been doing this for 92 weeks straight, and uh, we'll go strong. We're going to have, like, over 10,000 episodes by the time this is done.
guaranteed. You can quote me on that, but it might be wrong. Uh, so this has been episode nine. I'm, I'm gonna make that. End, I'm gonna make that whole thing yeah, a quote. Better. Guaranteed. You can, <laughs> you can, guaranteed, go or oh, I mean, I could be. Guaranteed, but I might yeah. be wrong. Yeah, so this has been episode nine to you, Backerners. Thank you all for coming on. Thank you all for watching. I love you. Goodbye. <laughs>